In any case, let's get back on with it then. It's a Vorion. It's also Tuesday. I don't stream on Mondays and Tuesdays. It's important to me to take time off, even if I do want to stream, because it helps keep the hunger going. And whilst I've never felt any kind of streaming burnout, I would, I would hate to start with that. So I think taking schedule breaks is good for you. On the other hand, I have a terribly addictive personality. So when I see particularly a game that strikes my fancy and I want to sink a lot of time into it, that time gets sunk. Even yesterday I was playing this game. Well, I wasn't so much playing as I was working on ship design, because this is this is our magnum opus to date, the Clubber Seal. Objectively, it's terrible. I mean, sure, it fits the bills, but I'm pretty sure I'm way overspending on just about everything. There's gaps in what I've made, some things are far too thick, because I didn't really understand the thickness, thinness uh, minimums that we could put in, or the gr um, <clears throat> grid alignment, or various basics of ship design. I don't think it's bad, in fact I think it's quite good, but it's also terrible. Gets the job done, but after spending quite a bit of time looking at ships, looking at ship designs, stealing some ship designs, even though I said I wouldn't go stealing from the workshop, I couldn't resist figuring out how they do it, and some are just too good to pass up. Well, I'm not going to destroy Clubber Seal, I'll probably pass this one off to a captain, but I want to get away from these ships, there we go get back into the build menu and have a look around at what I've been working on. Uh, so we're going to find in... Ooh, crikey. There's a basic cost in finding and now it's becoming titanium. I wonder how many more of these we get to do. Alright, we can rename the ship whenever. But... But, but, but... Where's my names list? There we go. I don't actually know what I'm going to be making here. But I'll still call this one the Super Pie, meaning it's probably going to kill things and then be killed by Hannibal. I just wanted to get into the building menu, truth be told, and whilst it's nice to see the galaxy in the background, it's even nicer when we can focus on the ship itself. Purge of the heretics incoming. I don't really know how I'm flavoring this playthrough so far, it's just that the ship designs, as soon as I went with a cross, I decided to keep going with the ecumenical approach. Right, so, a few more saved designs we have now. Been working on the religious iconography, and also on some actually functional ships. So, we've got the clubber seal, as we have made it so far. Shows its total cost and money and materials to make. But, uh, I wanted to make some other things with these designs. First, perhaps, let's look at our escort ship, the demon. Yeah, gets the job done, fair enough. But I decided to iron out the design a fair bit here, so before and after. The new one is cheaper in iron, more expensive in titanium, and a whole lot more expensive in cost. Let's have a look at it and see exactly what makes it tick. So I wanted to keep the cross engine design and keep a very sleek version of it, to the point where you can't really see what it's made of. That's because it's clad in some armor all the way around it. And I have found a way to make thin blocks, something that was eluding me so much was this grid size. I think it defaults to 0 0.5, but uh, you want it all the way down if you're doing precise work. And then the scaling step. At 0 0.5, that means if you want to build a block and increment it, you're incrementing by a huge amount. So for, for some of my ships, I was making armor that thick. Uh, no, no, no. We want it something like a tenth of that thickness. It also means you have to be real precise about how you put things in. I can definitely see how some people need to put a lot of time into making some beautiful ships that they do. We text that bit, you may as well put an ad on this site. Super Pie is an ad. An ad to join the Xenonauts so that you too can be that much of a hero. So what's going on with a ship? It's super basic, but I want to be able to just churn these things out and use them for ex uh, escorts and exploration. So if we look at the view thing here, now again, I'm not good at ship making. There are people that have put umpteen hours into building ships and have amazing things on the workshop. This one won't be featuring like that. Even so, it's something I've made, so I feel not too bad about it. The engines are a good bit thicker than I did before. They're still not as thick as they could be, but I wanted space behind that for... A little bit of crew quarters. Shouldn't need a lot of crew on a ship like this. The thruster is actually built in the front. Something that I have come to learn is that you don't actually need your thrusters or even your engines to be on the outside so good to do that for 
the the good looks but thrusters I don't even like how they look on the outside so you can just put them on the inside and with space magic they will help propel your ship and having it front away from the center of gravity means it's going to be a lot more effective at spinning this ship around uh, armor is pretty much all the way around this thing so the uh, the juicy innards shouldn't be able to be shot at quite so easily now this is framework piece. Framework is mostly just a placeholder. There's barely any density to it, so it doesn't slow the ship down. It just means that on the inside I can change whatever... Uh, I can change these blocks out for just about anything, depending on what I need. <clears throat> we have dampeners on the front for braking, because I just don't think thrusters can do the kind of braking that I need. The downside is I'm pretty sure dampeners chew up a lot of power. But that's exactly why we have a lot of power being generated. There we go, we're also powered by Christ, as well as propelled by him. Um, thanks to this design, I can have a very small field generator. Give this thing that hefty amount of defense. Reducing all incoming damage. Is it by or to 25%? I honestly can't remember. Tell me more about yourself. Da, 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 da. You only take 25% damage, and blocks don't break as easily. That is great news. What else is inside here? More armor on the top. It's pretty thick. Perhaps too thick. Um, that's probably adding to a fair bit of the cost, but I couldn't think of a... Well, I can think of a reasonable way to cut down this. I'd make these angles... Um, uh, what, what am I trying to say? I'd like slice it off here and keep this upper part as a triangle and this lower part as a solid block that could be turned into uh, a functional block. But that's a lot of micro work in making these small um, these small steps. So I just opted for one big load of uh, armor there. If nothing else, it helps add to that hull, uh, the hit points. So it can actually take a bit more of a beating. And then we have the name plates on the side on top of the armor. Very, very simple ship. And I'm hoping that it'll work all right as a general throwaway escort or whatnot. But there's something I just don't like about these ships not having cargo space. Um, so what this is probably going to be is a fighter. Fighters probably shouldn't have cargo, but other kinds of ships should. So what I did was I just made a another design that just says with cargo, and there's practically no difference between them. A slight increase in credit cost and more iron for the cargo. So I plan on pumping these out as escorts or exploration and in fact I want one for an exploration right now. So maybe Super Pie can go off and be an adventurer, that's fine by me. Ah, but I need a captain, don't I? Huh. Okay, well never mind that idea, I'll need to go and find a captain at some point. Right. Here we go. I worked a, a bit on Star and Crescent. This game, it is not easy to do curves with. I'll just bring this design in. So I wanted to be able to make some kind of ship that can go around just as a massive floating cargo freighter that will hopefully just buy and sell as the need arises. And then I just stamp this massive emblem on it. Now, how's this thing made? You don't really draw curves in this game, but it looks pretty round, doesn't it? Not quite. There's just lots and lots of tiny, tiny little angles here. And that was not fun. Thankfully, the game has... well, not the game, but on the workshop there's a guide on how to make a circle. So I took a circle, stretched it out, coloured it, trimmed it off, and then shoved in... I couldn't figure out how to do a five-pointed star, so they're getting extra points on their stars here. And of course this thing has hopefully everything it needs to just float from place to place making deals. Um, not very quickly, but when I get a captain who can do trading, I'll just slam him into this ship and tell him to fly around. In fact, uh, no, I won't, uh, I won't go and fly around in this ship just yet. Just showing off what's been done. What else do we have here? Pancake work in progress, sure. So, I wanted to make some kind of dome ship, kind of Millennium Falcon-esque. And whilst this certainly has the shape, and I'll show you how it was made earlier, this one engine doesn't cut it, so I had to hide extra engines inside. And there is area inside for building with. In fact, if we tear off the roof here, we can have a look inside. 
And uh, for this ship, I just plan on filling it up with whatever is needed um, to keep it functional. And then the outside will just continue to be a, a shell for it. But I haven't quite figured out how to get all that working just yet. And I wanted to see if I could put a yin-yang design on it, but the blocks are too blocky here. It's not small enough for it, so it would either be a very basic look or it would need a lot of extra work to have that put in. So I'm not sure about that. I think ship design is largely something I'm going to do off-screen because it takes a long time and uh, there's a lot of referencing other things, which I don't think I would enjoy streaming, that's for sure. See, Major Ship Turk, we're working our way across the, uh, the iconography for this one. If I cannot get a yin-yang symbol on this. I wonder if there's anything else that I could do. Uh, how was this made, though? Might be a reasonable question. So, 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 so... Here we go. Here's a dome. Clunk. This dome is quite simple. It's also quite small, so let's scale the thing up. We'll just uniform scale you up. And maybe even up again. There we go. So somewhat hollow on the inside, and on the outside, it's just made of lots of different slopes. I didn't play much with sloping pieces before, opting for a more blocky design, and that's seriously just because it's harder to do. I mean, look at that slope, how do you even make it? Well, if you bring it away, it's a couple of triangular pieces which are using the Corner Armor 1 design. Corner Armor 1, so that is, I forgot where armor is, your armor. And that's Twisted Corner, Corner Armor 1. And then you you got to rotate these around and stretch them out until they fit in here. And God help you trying to put in a piece kind of free-floating like this. I mean, there's a lot that can be done with this, but either I uh, lack the experience with it, or I lack the understanding of the tools, either way. I'm pretty sure it's more me than the game. In any case, let's not have that. The point is, using this... <clears throat> you can do a modification of scaling, which, 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 why is it not showing here? Heavens knows. There we go. So we can actually squish this thing and elongate it. So in order to make ourselves the pancake style design, kind of just take this and flatten you down. And if we feel so bold, we could flatten you down some more. There we go. And then we can grab everything, copy it, paste it, and then rotate our pasted bit right around and slam it in on the bottom. I think I was off by a little bit, but in general, that seems to be how to make this dome. <clears throat> nice and simple, but how do I turn it into an effective ship? That I'm still working on. There we go, pardon the coughing fit, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I muted myself in time. Right, never mind that. This is the circle I was talking about earlier. Fortunately, you just need to do a quarter of it and then copy it over. Uh, and from here you can easily enough cut off bits of it. So if I wanted like a floating Google design out in space, you could certainly do it. And then, and then, and then this again can be stretched and elongated, so if you wanted some kind of oval thing, thrusters on the back, guns on the front, and God knows where you're going to put your functional blocks. Well, it could be done. And I simply extrapolated that to make some kind of tube. Although... Oh, I, I made that in uh, creative mode and it's too big for... Apparently it's too big for building because I don't have the knowledge for it. Well, fair enough. Okay, what else we got? Uh, <laughs> so something I found for this game is that you can bring in um, 3D model designs. So after a bit of a search for a chakra, this horrific beast was built. It's somewhat functional, believe it or not. I wonder if we could actually just go with you. Can we, can we, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm already slamming into my other ship. Maybe I, maybe I should move you out of the way. 
if I can get to you. There we go. You back away or else it's going to get a little too dangerous for you. Then let's see if I can remember how this thing works. Go back to Clubber Seal. And then, whoa, okay, Clubber Seal also needs to back away from this monstrosity. And locate my ship. There you go. And then give you the order to escort me whilst we get away from that monstrosity. So this thing actually somewhat works. I haven't found a way to keep it spinning whilst it floats through space. But this thing can go around and it has the bare necessities put on it. I would like to redesign it so the blocks are a bit more... Um, well, cleverly placed, so it's maybe not such a cluster fudge of uh, thrusters there. And maybe a bit more uniform spacing for functional parts on it. But I'd like to get this thing working. It looks like it'd be a nice hangar design. But again, although, although shape-wise it works and it somewhat moves through space at an agonizingly slow speed, it needs quite a bit of work. So we're not going to be running with that. Is that the chaos undivided? Don't start me on chaos. People asking me to put big uh, games workshop beasts into this. I'm pretty sure the workshop is full of that already. I'm not going to make those. Can you merge ships together like Voltron? Because you're basically made a steering wheel. I don't think you could merge two different ships together, but I could take this and use it as a part for a bigger ship. Or scale it down considerably, or even up. Uh, what else do we have here? Not much else, actually. Oh, right! Uh, ah, crumbs. This thing's too big to, to load in. What about you? Ah, okay. Well, you have to take my word for it. Um, it's non-functional. I've yet to find a way to make it functional, but I'm sure I can. But there we go. Let's get the Far East involved as well in our multi-religious crusade. Uh, I think I would hollow out the legs here and put in a couple of thrusters, put some functional blocks like crew quarters and energy generation along the side here, probably some shields up down here and along here, and then just have the front full of giant guns and then sail through space with this. So certainly got some designs to work with. I doubt they're very good from a lot of technical standpoints, but they're what I want. It'd be more menacing if you flew it like a Tory towards the I don't know how I'd put my thrusters in so that it flies forward like this. I think it would also be very poor placement for guns. This, on the other hand, it means if they try to flank me by going up to the side, they start to see what they're really dealing with. Still, as I said, probably not the greatest functional ships, but I want to have some fun with the iconography and the ship builder, even though it takes a fair whack of time. The last thing I did was I went and upgraded our cross design with a totally stolen design, which hopefully I can load in. Yeah, there we go. Right up to almost six socket. Now this is a very well-made ship that I definitely didn't do, except I changed the homework just enough by putting on cross designs onto the thrusters there. Um, I'm going to roll with this one for a wee while so I can actually get some jobs done and then load out my extra ships with the glorious iconography ones. But it taught me something, look, well, it taught me a lot of things looking at this ship, but one in particular is not having to settle for the dinky little um, turrets. So let's say we have this awesome sounding exotic triple point defense cannon. Oh wow, how does that look? Oh, okay. It's, it's minuscule. Great. But, see this game thought of everything. There's no need for it to be so wimpy and minuscule. It can really mean business. Yeah, this game has turret design as well, so uh, as I chunk out some ex uh, escorts, we're going to have a look at that a bit more. Um, that said, this is going to be my main one for a bit. I need to do some tinkering. Wait, didn't I say this one's going to be a flying off ship? No, I said this was going to be an explorer ship, didn't I? But I don't have a captain, that's why we're not doing it. Uh, right, what am I doing? What am I doing? First thing I want to do is go over to the Clubber Seal 
enter that ship and strip it down a fair bit. I don't know what we're going to do with Clubber ship, uh, Clubber seal ship now, but what I do know is that you have way too many of my good everything. So either I could have you as my other escort until I find another job for you, or, hmm, well actually, you are well enough armed to be an additional escort and you should be able to deal some serious damage like that. So what if I leave you with all these cool guns? Ah, but I want some cool guns. Oh, I'm sure there'll be more cool guns. I'm certainly going to take off your uh, mining things, though. And that leaves you with one free arbitrary turret. So I could still give you... Oh, you've got that auto gun in the bottom, don't you? I could still give you another gun. And I don't have a problem with doing that. Exceptional laser, elite force can... I want some of this exceptional stuff on my, my own ship, so I'll give you... I can't give you point defense, can I? We don't have any defense... No, I do have defensive turret slot. Interesting. Well, why don't you just go there and then anything that comes your way you uh, take out defensively. You still generate enough power and you should make for a fair enough escort for the new ship. At least until I find another job for you. I'm not going to destroy you. The, the holy USB device here should serve as a reminder of more humble and simpler times. Even so, we're going over to Super Pie. And we're going to give the order to Clubber Seal. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Super Pie, find Clubber Seal, F for interaction, order, escort me. And also, I want to find our other escort ship, that's the demon. And I'll give you the order to escort me as well. So who is me here? What can we do with this ship? Well, we can get it mechanics, engineers, deal with its uh, acceleration. And I suppose I should also go to Clubber Seal and take care of any of its inventory. Do you have the material to actually build all of those? All those what? I should be alright on materials. Oh god, I'm really slow because of my lack of crew. Hopefully, we just get up to bumping distance. I didn't find a mod to increase the interaction distance, but I think there are modules which improve it. Teleporters or something, if I was reading it correctly. Right. Crew members, I, well, I suppose if nothing else, give me as many crew members as you can, just to get the basics done. And I want all of your cargo. Look, we got tons of cargo space now. All that only took up, what, 2% of it? And I think I'll take the torpedoes. Wait, I don't have any torpedo storage. Huh, I like having torpedo storage. Should be easy enough to fix or affix. Torpedo storage. Do, 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 do. Now, it might be a little dangerous just to strap it on the top here, but strap we shall. Is this going to have any major downsides? Mm, gives me space, costs a little bit more in hyperspace, requires an extra mechanic. I'm sure that's fine, we'll just grab ourselves a mechanic. Now, give me those. We still need more people though, thankfully this station should have. Come on, a little closer. Uh, how many do I actually need? I need four engineers. And six mechanics. You must be do- oh yeah, I forgot about the whole docking thing, didn't I? Okay. 
Give me that crew. Nice that it remembered that. And I think I'll just grab a few extra general crew. So, yet more iron and yet more titanium protism. Actually, getting the job done. I like to see it, although it would be nice if you ever leveled up. There we go. Income feels great. Surely not a future weak spot that Jake will come to regret. <laughs> not with my escorts taking everything, I'm sure. Although, for all I know, torpedo slots do explode and cause great, uh, great harm to you. Uh, okay. I also need to deck you out, Demon. As cool as you are, I do want to standardize my escorts. So, 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 so. Interact with you. Building mode. And then... We can quite simply uh, take off your guns. Now it's complaining about how weak it is. And then we just go and standardize you to cheap standard escort. Kaboom. Easy peasy. Although I don't like all that removed stuff. Did that stuff just get jettisoned into? Yeah, of course it did. Right. Where is my other ship? There you are. Oh man, why does Jetsus and stuff have to be, cannot be picked up for a while? Oh well, I think it's only two minutes and then we will grab the equivalent of those space potatoes. Now, I liked those fancy turret things and I want this escort to also have fancy turret things. I also need it to have an actual amount of guns that it can use, so where's, where's the gun stuff? Yeah, I would always like to see the gun information. So it only has one arbitrary turret. Do you already have things slotted in, I wonder? Ah, yes, there we go. But if we're going to slot things in, we might as well permanently slot them in with the view of you being a combat... Um, combat helper. So what are we going to bring in? How about... Si oh, auto turrets. Not so sure about auto turrets. Combat turrets. Four armed turrets, three auto turrets. I think the problem is slotting is by rarity. Let's change it by type. Arbitrary turret slots. No, see, I want um, weapon turret slots. This rare one is certainly quite good. But just two armed turret slots for 300, and another two armed turret slots. That should give you plenty of uh, turret slotting, so I'm going to install both of these permanently onto you. No point No point in avoiding the, uh, the permanent put-on ones, especially since they... Apparently we can get these quite cheap and easily, especially off of breaking things. So from that you actually have... Six slots for armed turrets, plus a, an arbitrary one, so I should be able to gun you up pretty well regardless. So let's look into that. Now, the turret slaughter thing is probably not liking my capitals. Here we go. Turret base. Uh, might make them out of titanium. I think they might be more durable, but if nothing else, they will, uh, they'll be able to have bigger and better weapons on them. So I need to bring you right down and slam you on here. So I think I want you to be two in width. Don't mind the extra bits on the side, that's the armor plating. And then two in height. And then we slam you down, clunk, clunk, clunk. And then we can have some big guns on the front here. Although maybe that's too big. Especially since we're gonna have quite a few of these. Mm, nah, let's go with that. Now, if I recall well, it is Shift T. Select one turret block, create a zone. Okay, here we go. Now, it starts off giving you this wee thing, and like most other parts, you can go and add to them. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. But uh, I don't think I have what it takes to make some cool turret design. Although I really like the fact that it can pivot around like this with whatever you put on it. Very cool, but very much beyond me. So. Let's remove those parts, and let's see if we can use some workshop turret designs. 
which are really cool. Certainly cooler than anything I could make. So what do we have on the front? What would even make sense on the front here? I don't know. Also, how do we use you? Bigger than your turret base. Do you want to scale it down? Let's see how it looks scaled down. I have a feeling that might be a bit much. How far up can you go, by the way? Oh, it looks like you can go all the way around. Pretty cool, but pretty excessive. And I'm not sure if there's a way to scale you down. Ah, that's what, that's why it says 5 by 1. Alright, we got a smaller version of you. <laughs> I don't think that's smaller. I mean, that certainly sends the message home for anyone that we're fighting against. That is unnecessarily large. I do like it, though. I think I think whatever pack I got is just full of um, full of pieces that are much too large. Oh, that's okay though. Maybe I can slam this. Ah, I'll try having that one over there. And then as for oh, how do we say yes? Reset to continue building. There you go. Turret design is inactive. I know that. So when we put a when we put a turret on there, that'll hopefully work just fine. And then there is you, and we can we can see if this one fits on. Oh yeah, baby size, but that's fine. Actually, the scaling of this looks all sorts of off, but let's not worry about it. Don't mind. So we've got these turrets, these front-facing turrets, and then we got to choose the guns that go on them. You actually have a defensive turret slot. I'm wondering if it's worth putting point defense on you. Looks like it might not be the worst thing in the world. <clears throat> Just in case you're getting shot at, hopefully you'll be able to take care of that yourself. Otherwise, otherwise, we'll put the that cannon of yours up here, and then give it a couple of hmm, a couple of regular double chain guns there and there. It's all well and good, but it still has space for more DACA, as they say. So the extra ones. I mean, I could just put on some uh, some dual chain guns along the top. Damages. Oh, well, it's not damages. DPS that I should be caring about, right? Just slam it full of these, right? Ah, uh, there we go. Now we've hit the... Wait, five? I thought I had a bit more than five, but that's okay. Well, still, that's the demon's new form. Hopefully it still works fine as an escort for us. Oh, but I still have space for one more slot here. There is a temptation to install yet more DACA, because I can get two more guns on it with this. That puts on one. And your your whole job is just to kill things, right? So yeah, let's, let's install you permanently and get a couple more bits of DACA. There we go. Now you you can spin around quite quickly, so I'm not too worried about you not being able to shoot things below you. You can sort by DPS or DPS per slot when selecting turrets. True, but I like to think we're not going to have to worry about squeezing out an extra 10 or 15% DPS in this run. I can imagine when I'm done with this game, I'm probably going to scrap the save and then start a new hardcore run, whether or not that's streamed or not. Well, we'll see how Avorion feels after another 40-50 hours. I miss one of Orion's stream and Jake has built a damn battle cruiser. Oh, this ain't the battle cruiser. This is just the escort. But it does provide the DACA. In fact, it doesn't have enough crew member for all that DACA. Oh, right. No, they, they auto sorted out their crew for that. Yeah, there we go. In fact, it looks like one of them's reached sergeant, which is demanding more money. But too bad for me. 
Right, there's our... There are our escorts. Let's make sure they're... Oh, right, no, I can't really escort just yet because this damn stuff is still floating around for a few minutes. What can I do for a few minutes? Building mode doesn't uh, allow time to pass. Although there is an option for that. Well, I can check my own ship and see what can be done here. I have a lot of crew, so when I add guns, that should be fine. I need to consider the one, two, three, four, five, six subsystems that I want to have myself. This is going to be a general ship that we go around doing general things, so I'll probably be clearing a lot of missions, dragging goods from A to B, and generally building up money and resources so that I can get more captained ships to automate more things. That's my goal today, at least. Uh, I don't want to mine, though. I would love to have a little dude that does mining for me, but thats I suppose that's what I have captains for, isn't it? I also have this now knight that I'm not putting to use yet, but I'm sure we will in due time. Maybe this I should sort by rarity and look at what cool things I should put in. For example, this exceptional... Oh, wow, look at that. Six armed turrets, two defensive turrets, five auto turrets. And it's not even that uh, expensive on on power. One gigawatt. What's our current output at? 14. 15 gigawatts, and we only need three and a half. So really, slamming that in would be good for us, right? Cargo extension. Ah, there we go. Got the goods, including some gold. So I'm glad nobody went and stole that from us. Gotta say, it's tempting to grab the range increaser already. Yeah, this whole ejection of cargo, even if you put in a car... Well, no, we didn't put in a cargo slot. I should have emptied it beforehand. Well, that's on me, isn't it? So, we don't have any space for guns until we put in some of these slots, so I should probably just perma-install this, especially since we can rip it out easily enough. Plus, it's very good, so permanent installation, we don't care, we know. Mm, velocity acceleration, not too worried about. I'm not too worried about doing uh, mining myself. This is what we should start automating. Mm, advanced trading subsystem. Economy overview on galaxy map. I have a funny feeling this is something that I'd want to put in a uh, a captain's vessel, but I want to see how it works, so we're going to use it for now. Trade route detection, price deviations, prices of goods in a range of... Trade route sectors 5, economy scan range 10. You know what? To hell with it. I am going to install that permanently just to see how it works. I do like loot collection range. It's not a great one, but I'm going to slam that thing in permanently as well. Really upping the required energy now. How are you finding Avorion? It's sucking me in deep. I really like it. Scanner booster. Where's my thing that actually showed where the goods are out there? Ah, that's the thing. I think they're, some of those cool things are still in the old clubber seal, aren't they? Right, I need to, I need to look at clubber seal then. Yes, and you have them installed permanently. Which means I need Clubber Seal to go to uh, the Equipment Dock, I believe is the one. So, Clubber Seal, Dock there. Are you working on that, or are you still in Escort mode? Looks like you're flying around. Yeah, off you go. We're going to rip out some of those subsystems from Clubber Seal, put the good ones into Super Pi, and then Super Pi is going to go around and do some missions, because I am eager to do some missions. Your title spooked me into thinking I'd completely forgotten what day it was until I realized it was your schedule. Yeah, my Sabbath is Monday, Tuesday. But what can I say? It's there to be enjoyed, and I enjoy this game. Right, while well, you figure that one out, let's go back to... Gee, I wonder if there's a quick way to select your own ship without having to go to... Geez, here, and then there. Still want to consider what other things to put in here. Recharge rate. Engine booster seems like a waste of time. 
hacking is rather nice, but I like to be able to put... Oh yeah, it's permanent only, isn't it, with the hacking? Mm. Alright, Clubber Seal is tractoring in as we speak. Excessively slowly. Shipyard, you can do it. Okay, even from here we can remove some of these parts, so... I still want you to have the extra gun turrets, because you do have a fair bit of DACA yourself. But I don't want you having this object detector, nor do I want you to have the ghost injector. I might just slam in a recharge rate for you, because I think that's one of the things you struggle with, although it's probably a waste. And then otherwise... Otherwise, I don't really know. I'll probably just leave you like that. Like a hotkey to switch between my ships and this uh, together would be really cool here. I don't know if it exists, but otherwise I come out to Super Pie and then I tell you to... Hmm? Oh, I don't think I... I don't think I entered the ship there. My bad. Yeah, yeah, I needed to enter ship and then go clubber seal, interaction, escort me. And now, hopefully, both the demon and the clubber seal will be coming to get me. Clubber seal is on their way. Excellent. Has been playing Vorion given you any interest in revisiting X or any of the No, well I've been watching Alpha play X and it just doesn't look that great. There's too many systems yelling at you and far too much menus and menus and menus. Now I'm not saying this game is light on its menus by any stretch of the imagination, but it doesn't feel like my entire game is being played here. Right, I still need to figure out what I wanted to put in. I want that rare object detector because rare objects out there are pretty cool. And I will, despite the energy consumption, install you permanently. And I think I'll perma-install the hacking thing as well. Because it seems like stuff that we find to hack is worth some decent dosh. And that gives me a wild card slot, which I always appreciate having. Downside is that's really chunked away at my energy now, hasn't it? But I think as long as you produce more than double the energy you require, you're generally okay. Yeah, because that's a spare 8 gigawatts, and that should get the hyperspace thing charged up. Although storable energy is quite low compared to the amount it takes to jump. Well, if we jump around a bit, we'll figure out how it goes. Right, enough uh, enough of this. Let's actually do some stuff. It's what I want to say, but didn't I want an explorer? I need a captain for that. So let's see if we can find a captain. Um, I've been told that there is a mission that helps with that. If there's a bulletin board for finding a friend, then that one can get you a good captain, or so I'm told. But who really needs a good captain? I just need a captain, which there doesn't appear to be here whatsoever. So, 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 so. I did put guns on my ship. Oh, I didn't put guns on my ship. What am I thinking? Right, I got a lot of slots for guns, so let's put them in. I do have a defensive turret slot, so it makes a lot of sense to slam one in here. In fact, I have two defensive turret slots, so it makes a bit of a... Seems a, a shame not to use them. Although having both on the top seems a bit wasteful, right? We should have one on top and one on bottom. In fact, if you're going to be on the bottom, don't be there be there. Better reach, surely. Um, it even tells me why I have the top one there when it could be there. Now, I want that to be a, a big DACA. Right, ignoring Defer. What can we have on our ship? Lots of gun slots, so... A triple plasma gatling with 70-something DPS? Well, let's sort by DPS, shall we? Economical laser. Lowers energy consumption. Oh no, increases energy consumption. 
Does a lot of damage. Does a hell of a lot of damage. Alright, there you go. Plasma Gatling. Elite Force Cannon. I don't know what that does. Perhaps I never will. Hmm. Lost Friend gives you captains with two classes. I'll have to look into that. You know what? I don't like this. Keep it sorted by rarity. Then again, why was... Ah, never mind. Find good gun, put on good gun. No need to overthink it as long as it's not a mining type. And looking at those icons, those are mining types, aren't they? Salvaging and mining. Mm, gotcha. Right, well, just put on some standard guns and I'm sure we'll be okay. A gun is a gun is a gun. Although that still leaves me with a few slots, but we have an underbelly as well. Scavenging a laser again. The by sprayer. And chain gun, chain gun, double chain gun. And we still have one slot left. Go more chain gun. Ooh, you're off by one. Okay. Could be fuller, but this should fulfill our needs for killing. But look at that symbol there. I think something had to charge up. Our big gun, perhaps? Feels like my guns aren't actually active. Am I imagining things? Yes and no. We don't have auto assign our uh, our staff on. Now we do. Yeah, that feels a bit better. Why is this gun back here firing? Aren't you my auto defense or my point defense? Premium triple point defense cannon. Defensive. Auto targeting. So, should I assign you to one? And then everything else, I suppose, to two, but I'd probably want them all on all the time. Or is it something like. Auto fire? Yeah, then they should take care of things themselves, right? Pirates, eh? Well, what a wonderful time to test this out. Nice to meet you. And would you look at that? The clan of Fespi like me a bit more. 6,000 more um, improved relations. 8,200 because we helped them fight off some pirates. Not only that, we actually got some credits out of that and whatever pieces they decided to drop for me. Nice. It sounds like we can have a very happy time just killing people. I plan on killing people. Point defense on autofire will shoot at ships. Defensive will keep them shooting at torps and freighters. Not sure if they prioritize those if they're on auto fire. Defensive. Surely that means they'll still fire offensively if there's uh, nothing to defensively take out. Well, I shouldn't take that for granted. Right, uh, did my escorts actually help out there? I didn't notice them fight, but surely they did. Okay, time for adventure. We've spent enough time not having adventure. Where are we going to go to seek out fame and fortune? Explore here. Private note. Private note. Your ship needs a cat. Oh, wrong, wrong ship. We are the super pie now. Let's go and see what's going on over there. If nothing else, get some exploring done. Get some missions done. Hopefully, get ourselves 
Well, as soon as we do get ourselves a half-decent captain, I want to establish another vessel. Probably a scouting vessel. Which should be cheap and easy and not even need a particularly specialized captain. Uh, right, I was told to explore here. I don't see anything, though. Nothing found here. Then why on earth is there a private note that says explore here? Explorer here. Oh, this is where we met our pal from the start. Right, yes, but he's gone now. Clan of Fespies over here, hopefully with some missions for us. So, Super Pie, engage. A lot of waiting around, Sunshine. Go on, get the jumping done. Unless you're waiting for your escort. Which could be bad. It could tell me that the clubber seal is way too slow on jumping. Well, it doesn't look like we're waiting on them. Where is the clubber seal? Unless I forgot to tell them to escort me, which is possible. I do forget things a lot. Target practice, basically an anagram of pirate. I do not mind going and destroying more pirates. And if things look too easy, it just means we can go closer towards the center and mine some more goodies. Hazard zone. Civilian ships, traders, freighters, avoid this sector until peace is returned. In two hours. I'm actually really wondering where is... Clubber Seal. I don't think Clubber Seal came to join us. Maybe, uh, yeah, it looks like Clubber Seal doesn't have their escort command on. Alright, that's fine, though. I can just take control of Clubber Seal and tell you to... Tell you to come along. I think. How do I go over and... Focus. Okay, switch to Clubber Seal, because I have clearly forgotten to move you along. Ships can definitely escort across systems. We had, um, well, we currently have Demon do that. Demon doesn't have a captain. I want my swarm. I would really like my swarm. I, I would also like my swarm to include dedicated mining uh, ships, so that if I do come across a rich system, I can just tell them to get mining for me. And that also does not require captaining. Uh, what was I thinking? Here we go. Clubber seal. Give chase. Give chase. He uses quite a lot of power for you to jump, and you don't store enough power. Well, all the more reason to get you automated on some job. At least you recharge fairly quickly. Helps that I put in the extra slot for that. I just love how much you can uh, edit ship design. And it's not just how you build them, but the modules that you put in. So many different modules with different incremental uh, bonuses. Feels good. Looks good. I like this game a lot. I like it dangerously large amount. I haven't played this. You mentioned minion ships. Separate vessels entirely, or smaller ones and hangars inside your ship? Both, Punk Rock Lee. Clubber Seal and Demon are my two escorts, and they're going to go around and shoot anybody that comes and messes with us. But later on, I want to have my own hangar with dedicated fighters inside it. From what I was reading, you can have up to 120 of those. They're far less specialized than these ships that I have set as my escort, but different jobs for different ships. Seems like you can automate a whole lot in this game, and I would quite like to automate some nanite production, or nanonite production. Maybe I could change the current jet captain's job. When he next gives me a windfall of iron and titanium, I'll tell him to come over here and start mining nanonite as well, just so I can have that passively join in. Right, so switch back to Super Pie, and Super Pie gives the order to Clubber Seal to escort me. And now... 
they should both be on escort mode. Yeah, it looks like it. We can see the little escort icon on both of them. Now, why did I come here? I want a decent exploration captain and or a nice job. And there's no need to even go up to places to explore that. We can go to cruise. A classless captain. Another classless captain. Another classless captain. A daredevil captain and a smuggler captain. I don't see any reason to pay the pay over the ooh a mining captain. Hmm. I wonder if I can change out captains on the fly. Player menu, fleet, protozomac captain. Probably an easy way to do that. Probably. Well, once he's done with that, I'll get him to come over here. All right, let's check and see if any of these captains are worth their worth their weight. I might just get a crap one and tell them to um, to get exploring for me. So you there? Let's look at this captain. Negotiates better prices, higher risk of being ambushed. I don't think I want higher risk of being ambushed. I want significantly lower risk of being ambushed. Faster completion, less experience, lower risk of being ambushed. Also higher risk of being ambushed. Well, that sounds like it cancels out wonderfully. Gambler, unlucky, humble. I don't like unlucky. I don't want an unlucky person. How about you there, though? Faster completion, higher risk of ambush. Experience. Increased risk of being at AI. I want to keep that ambush rate as low as one can go. And then there's our smuggler friend here, level 2. Quite expensive. Stealthy, intimidating. Navigator. That sounds ideal for going exploring, actually. Stealthy Navigator. That sounds great. You're hired, Sunshine. So we need to dock over there, and dock we shall. So how do we do that again? Click on you, click on our ship, and tell the Super Pie to go and dock. We'll grab ourselves that smuggler, we're going to make him a ship, get him some crew, and we're going to tell him to explore the region for us. Luck, the one stat I would never voluntarily lower. Hello, Jake, says KTAC. I see Vorion has progressed to the schedule breaking stage of addiction already. I was playing this yesterday as well. Help, pirates are on our tail. Engines are down. We are stranded here. Uh, where is here? Wanted Commander Artek. Where, where was that distress call from? I'm uh, not seeing it. Peefy. Unless Peefy is in the system, but I don't see them. <laughs> oh, it's in my sector. Well, who the heck is Peefy? Uh, maybe it's under here. Frigate Peefy? Ship Peefy? Ah, uh, hello, Trading Post Peefy. You need a hand? Uh, but you're, you're a station, how can you be stranded? I think I understand. Someday I'll get that trading mission started. Oh yeah, no, you didn't miss anything yesterday. I was just mucking around off stream with shipbuilding. 
uh, tractor beam is slow. Can't wait to get a teleportation device. It's an event that spawns a bunch of power detectors, and defender systems tend to get obliterated. Well, either they're already obliterated or they're not here yet. So, get me that smuggler, please. Must be docked. Oh, we're docking as fast as we can. I can see why they call it a tractor beam. Right. Come to me, smuggler. Wait, what? I look pretty... I look pretty docked here. Hmm? Okay, there we go. Maybe that's not going to work the way I want it to. Because now that he's on this ship, how do I get him onto another ship? Ah, but I can use the change crew button. Right, let's do this then. I'm going to come out with you. Blast away a little bit. Fund a new ship. And who in chat wants to be our latest ship? You're going to have Von Doodles as a captain. But who's going to be our ship? All right, we're gonna have Billy the Roos. You're gonna be our explorer. Well, our explorer ship. And fortunately, we already have. Oh God, not a. You're not gonna be a floating turret, although that would be highly amusing. You are going to be our. Um, I'll put in a cargo just in case the explorer finds something. I don't know if that ever happens, but soon I will. Oh. What? Friendly sh- Ah, oh, bollocks! There's no shipyard here. Which means I can't put in your, um, your advanced energy creation thinger. Right, that's a bummer. Hmm. Okay, well that's no big deal either because it means we just need to... Uh, let's see, get rid of you. And create you in a sector that does have a shipyard. Alright, easily done. In that case, we're going to take the opportunity to find ourselves a mission, if there is one here. A lost friend is worth doing. Oh, here come those pirates that we were warned about. Where are they? Are they even going to last? Oh, I think they're long dead before we even get there. I'm not, I'm not sure it's pirate. They did say pirates, right? I'm just not seeing any. The ship does lose power as we boost, but not a lot. You can see in the bottom left that it's not going down much at all. Right, well, I tried, but the attackers are already gone. Maybe there's some goodies for me to scavenge, but seems a little far away. Right. Training post, Vlampa. Not hire a crew. I want to see this uh, bulletin board for a lost friend. 60,000. Da 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 da. And potentially a good captain out of it. So let's go and see what that's all about. Here we go. Look. Look for hints, 331, 142. Ooh, that's a, that's a fair whack away, but if we must. So bye, go there, 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 then there. Oh, I built a few new ships and we'll be building more. But I've completely forgot the need the, the need of a shipyard when doing that. As we go along, we might as well explore the places we go to. Because if there are valuable objects, I want them. And there we go. Good. Clubber Seal is in hot pursuit, as is Demon.
Oh no, no, this wasn't, uh, this wasn't built by me. This was a 100%, I saw this on the workshop and it looked cool. Well, functional. There were certainly cooler ships. But hey, I put in those crosses, right? Hopefully it can tide me over until I can build more religious iconography. Well, I have them already built. I need to... Um, I just need a shipyard place to put them down and a good trading captain to put them to automated use. Alright, oh, scan the area. Nothing found here. Now the range on that scanning... I think it said 49 kilometers. That's surely most of any reasonable size system. Highlighted range, 49 kilometers. Detection range. The entire sector. Okay, that's cool. What bothers me is that I have to keep clicking it each time. You'd think this would automatically do it. And it does say automatic notification, so maybe I don't need to keep hitting it. Max says you don't. Okay, so maybe it's just going to say, hey, there's something here whenever there is something here. Ah, thank you, Max. That saves me smashing that every system. Although now I still feel compelled to smash it. Right. Any clues to the whereabout here? Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of deep scanning. We can see the yellow dots, although I don't see any yellow dots there. I do have the deep... Is that part of the, uh, the module here, the deep scanning? No, I think object detection is different from deep scanning. Yeah, why don't I have my deep scanner put uh, plugged in? Also, where is my deep scanner? I thought I had a... I thought I had a deep scanner. You left it on Clubber Seal, how can this be? You're right. Wait, wasn't I meant to pull out? Ah, uh, that could be a problem. However, maybe having you in my crew allows that to work anyway. I should check another place. Because it might be that I don't need it specifically on the main ship. Unsure about that. Right, clues. Give me clues. There's certainly some wreckage to be had, so we'll check it out. Also, why even bother doing it yourself when we can... Hmm. I was hoping wreckage would show up here as something to go to, but perhaps not. Right. Go and... Super Pie. Well, don't salvage the wreckage, but... Uh... This is hard to tell where my plane is. But go and fly there. Yeah, that seems to be about right. I also don't have the tools to salvage wreckage on me. And whilst I could equip them, I'm not... I really don't like switching out weapons on a ship. It's a lot of menu tedium. Which is all the more reason I'd like to have my posse include a dedicated ship for doing that. So I would just have a miner set to follow me, and then I would tell them to go and mine. I think you need to be in the ship with a scanner. I could be wrong. We'll find out soon enough. I'll go and jump elsewhere. And if I cannot see it with a ship, but I can with Clubber Seal, then sucks to be me. I don't know if it's better to permanently install it here, or to um, just jump over to Clubber Seal every now and then. There is something to be said for putting mining and salvaging goods on here. Oh, our captain reached level 2! 
and gave us some goodies. Right, well, one thing's for sure. I'm taking those go Ooh. We stumbled upon old wreckage, not worth salvaging for scrap metal, but we were lucky and found a common booster. Okay, thank you. And your usual stuff. Okay, so now you are idle, which is probably for the better, because it means I can grab you and tell you to... Do I have to tell you to relocate to a new home or something? Patrol, attack, repair, travel. Yeah, I want you to travel to the lovely safety of the Endless Luminescence. Well, I know there's a good asteroid belt there, but now how about over there? It'll only take you five minutes and you will not be ambushed. But I want you to get there. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see, I see. Just get there as fast as possible. It'll take very little time. We will not be attacked. I'll take full command. Da 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 da. Alright, get on there. That's cool. How does it show up on this map mode then? Do you even actually move or. That's probably just going to happen for four minutes. Right, uh, what did we find out here? Scan that wreckage. Strange interference. We were being followed. Ship is registered, 342. They've caught up. Boarding party. Prepared the airlock. I am assuming that is a hint to go and explore that other sector that was mentioned. So, we shall. Unless I should salvage this wreckage first, and believe me, I am somewhat tempted, but... Maybe I'll just blast the damn thing. Okay, I got one whole credit out of destroying that part. Not worth... not worth the time. Super Pie, let's go. I'm gonna go here first, and then I'm gonna search for yellow dots. Or the mass signatures, or something that they're called. What's this awesome looking game? You had me breaking it the Sabbath. Of Orion. I don't think it's a particularly new concept. There have been a lot of these build your dream something something out of Lego. But this one has surprisingly low jank for being an open world space game. And it's very well executed. And that alone is dragging me in big time. You can turn off having to press spacebar and loading. Ooh, yeah, I do, because I often forget about that. Game options. Where, pray tell, is that? Unless it's controls. Base and loading screen, number four from the top. Ah, okay. Didn't really understand what that meant, but there we go. Now, I don't see any yellow, which immediately makes me worry. Hold on, I thought I did down here. No, nope, must be my imagination. But if we go over to you, we still don't see any yellow. Is there really... I mean, I, I couldn't, couldn't swing a cat for all the yellow where I was previously. Interesting. Oh well, I'm still wanting to explore more for the yellows. I'm pleasantly surprised. I'd seen it in the store before, written it off, thinking it would just be another open world game. How wrong I was. Has that nice mix of X mixed in. And Spengineer like design. Never played Spengineer and I played a very short amount of X. Hmm? Distress signal. Unknown source. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to find a lost friend, but if we find this lost friend, I'll go and check out your distress signal. I am here to do missions now. I've spent a good two sessions doing not much more than faffing. Now I want to take on some missions, get some money, and get some more automation going. Automate the production of Nowonite, 
automate exploring, perhaps even automate trading. I want to do the trade mission, but I was told to pick up, I think it was energy cells, and the guy was like, ah, oh, they're plentiful, you'll find them everywhere. I have, I have not found them. Still no yellow, which is concerning. Clubber seal, do you notice any yellow? Okay, something weird is going on. Surely there would be mass signatures by now. Maybe it's because autopilot is engaged. If we take off autopilot... Still no mass signatures. What's going on here? Indeed is going on here. It is possible, I suppose, that we're just finding some very abandoned sectors, but I don't want to believe that. Also, Protozomac is free, so I want you to go and start drilling. Uh, maybe I should wait until we're done with this. Actually, I will come out of this. Go here, go Protozomac, and tell you to get drilling. Mine in this area. Wow, huge ambush probability. Might not be able to collect as many resources here. Da 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 da. Okay, how about over here? Significantly safer. Moderate enemy activity. Using a ship this weak seems risky. It's possible we'll be attacked. We'll cease communication for safety reasons. Won't be able to reach us until we're done. Da -da 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 -da. Well, you know, I've never seen you be attacked, so I'm quite curious to see what happens if you do. So let's just jam it right up, and if you do die and lose and whatnot, then that's really unfortunate, isn't it? Get working. Now, what do we have around here? Oh, this isn't even where I'm meant to be. Super pie. Let's go. Safe mode? What's safe mode? Oh, hello! Pirates, eh? Go, my escorts! And I'm no coward, I will join you. Three on four, good odds for... Uh, torpedo? Well, that's why I have defensive point, uh, defensive point defense. Oh god, these guys actually have uh, Omicrons. Right, we're not, we're not fighting little baby ships anymore. Focus fire. Down you go, go. That one had 200 Omicron. So it had to go fast and first. And look, my um, my so-called defensive ship was firing offensively, even though there were no missiles to care about. What's that? Hyperspace is being distorted by enemies. They don't want us to run away. There are more ships, aren't there? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Here they come, then. Take out the 200 Omicrons. Uh-oh, uh-oh, my ships are going down here, buddy. Demon's almost dead. Right, demon, I gotta save you. Look at that! It's almost gone. Uh, almost. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, you there. Right, who's still coming?
Okay, I think I think they're liking it now. Yes. Are you an enemy coal mine? Yes. Hostile in that warrant. Oh god, what's that? Did friendlies come and join here? This is shredding my hull, friend. Turn around. Oh dear, oh dear, I saw you eat that. Alright, thankfully the main gun actually seems to be doing some damage, I'll take that. Take that and run. Oh, demon's gone. Sorry, demon, I tried. I'm not sure how hard I tried, but there was an attempt. Get the hell out of here. Good long look at that bright light, it's the last thing you'll ever see. Oh, oh, don't you run away on me. You gotta go, man. You gotta go. Just how many pirates are there here? That is definitely telling me that I need more of a fleet to attack with me. Go, my defensive point defense. You're exotic for a reason, right? Holy Cropola! I hope those are just rockets and not actually enemy ships. Get out of here. Give me the goods. That's just wreckage. You there. I guess I lost all the guns on Demon then. Damn, I think I gave him half decent guns as well. My own hull's not feeling too good right now. 300 Omicron on you. Right, you gotta go then. Holy crapola, okay. Those pirates kidnapped us, locked us up, who knows what they would have done to us. We broke out of our cells, took control of the station, thanks for distracting the pirates. I've led the riot here. Why are you looking for me? Ah, da, 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 da. I'll contact them immediately. Da, 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 da. Do you happen to be in need of a captain? Always. Uh, I just need to settle some affairs, but it should be easy if you let me have the reward for finding me. You're a t oh a merchant, precisely what I'm looking for. Merchant scavenger. What do you think? Welcome aboard. Okay, that was rough and tough and dangerous, but we made it. Demon is gone, gone forever as well. I think we should have permadeath on our ships. I mean, we're definitely getting a new ship. <laughs> There's no way we're not. But, 
it won't be demon. It'll be exactly the same kind of ship, but it won't be demon. Come on, give me the goods, give me the goods, give me the whoops. I could be here all day scavenging, I don't think I should bother. Although I would love it if it was a bit easier to pick up the goods and fly around here, because finding all these bits of wreckage seems rough. I probably need to go on board that spaceship too. Um grab my new captain as well. Yeah, if you can't cut it, ram it, right? I see some nice highlighted picks for me there. Oh, and I see that. Can you make a salvager ship to automate the pro uh, process? Yes. Or rather, I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, I lost sight of that stuff, but I'm sure there's still things hanging around here. Um, did I just get the captain, or where is my captain? Yeah, but the problem is I already had a captain, so... Don't tell me he didn't board or something like that. Oh, right, no, we have a passenger. Tier 3 Merchant Captain. Excellent. You have loot highlights at the edge of the screen for any loot uncommon or greater. So that'll be that blue dot over there. And that green dot over there. There's a bar underneath the green dot. Oh, that's Clubber Seal. Good at noticing screen. Oh no, you, I suppose, were a screen edge thing. Ah, no, no, it's something else. It's little glow parts. Little glow parts that I barely noticed. I still don't really notice. Or maybe not. Huh. Is, is there anything to pick up here? Yes, yes, there. There are a couple of green, uh, blue things there. Come to me. Boy, this ain't easy, even for my own eagle eyed self. Fine dual gun, minigun, rare. Well, as it happens, I need some more guns now, and a ship to carry them. Uh, okay, there we go. So there's an orange thing right there. Orange is good. Wow, that is hard to see. And uh, that was... I was commenting earlier about how I put too much armor on Demon. But it'll be fine, gives him plenty of extra hull. It clearly wasn't enough hull. I do like the fact that my aberration design for Clubber Seal survived, though. Thinking about it, Clubber Seal had point defense, Demon did not. Exceptional radar booster. God, I would love to be able to automate the picking up of scrap and crap in this zone. Maybe there is a way. Well, if there is, I don't know it. You, could I tell you to... Nope, suppose not. Maybe you get to a point in the game where you don't care if it's not uh, legendary. In that case, you don't waste your time picking up all these bits of crud. A buy sprayer. Didn't I have that on Demon? Possibly. Possibly. Right, quick zone around to see if I missed anything of value. Eh, not that I can see. There was a distress call, and it appears to be gone. So, I need to... Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Well, I need to find somewhere to establish uh, my new ships, and to give my captains some jobs. So, perhaps over here at this unknown energy signature...
It's a big one, so surely it's friendly. Uh, wrong ship. Four times power of Christ compels us and propels us. If you have a captain and a ship, highlight them. Press F. Salvage sector. They're auto hunt for salvage. Does that include broken down bits like that? Still no yellow here. Uh, where's my clubber seal? Oh god, I don't think clubber seal's following anymore. Maybe when I clicked on them to give them a new order, it didn't. Um, maybe it got rid of their escort me order. Uh, what, what, what? No, no, and more no. Lubber seal, get out of there. Boss swalks. Run, you fool! Run! Ooh, dangerous place, that sector. Jings! Right, so let's test this. You're on escort orders, but if I order you and then don't give you an order... Huh, maybe I gave you order and then clicked on stop accidentally because you do appear to still be on following Super Pi. Right, let's go then. I don't think it finds loose loot. Most ships have a large enough tractor beam range that they'll collect the loot while they set. Uh, I don't know, one of my problems is the range seems to be very low. Have destroyed ships towed at repair docks. Nah. Well, actually, maybe maybe that's better than remaking them. Teleporter, research center, repair dock. So how does this work? Well, for one, I need some repairs done, don't we? And yeah, over we go then. So super pie. Oh, there's a shipyard here, so I can make all the ships that I want. Excellent. In that case, super buy, dock over at the repair dock, and then the shipyard will help us out in other ways. Tractor beam range without upgrades is to yeah, it is tiny, disgracefully tiny. I think going proto zamac, thirteen percent done. But give it another 14 minutes and you should be delivering me some goods, unless you get shot to shreds yourself. And now I need to make, clearly, more escorts, because that fight was a bit brutal. Thankfully, Clubber Seal's repairing themselves just fine. Frankly, so am I, so I might not even take repairs here. Hull's at 93, it dropped down to something like 70, 65. Certainly going down. What I will do is, whoa, get away from me. What I will do is find that new ship. Still costs us titanium. The more ships you own, the higher the material fee. Right, Billy. What was your what was your weird ass name? What was Billy B -b 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 something or other? The Explorer. Billy Daru. And now we should be able to use our bog standard, cheap standard escort with cargo design. Now you should definitely have your own gun, if only to keep you uh, under slightly less threat. Surely just a standard gun will do fine, so here's a regular cannon. And of course... I don't know why it doesn't auto-auto-assign crew, but there you go. 
Your ship is weak. Shipyard in the sector. Okay, well, that's fine. I should have all I need here. But what I do need is that captain on you. So I need to get close to you and grab that uh, stealthy captain. Does it matter how strong the guns are when it comes to lowering danger? Wouldn't surprise me. Right. Exchange crew. I would like that smuggler captain, please. Cargo license for everything. Faster, very low risk of being ambushed. That's promising. Now if I get back to you, would you look at that? All's almost back up to full. Then we go and tell Billy Daru. Well, for one thing, we give Billy Daru a better captain. Ship name. Acme is not a bad name, but you're going to be piloted by Ron Dougals, the smuggler. Back we go to you. Yeah, that cargo license for everything might actually be pretty good for a trader, but we already have a trader, right? So for now, I just want you to explore, because I haven't done exploring before. And I'm always keen to try something new in a game like this, I think. So, scout. Wow, that's a big scout area. Scout as much as you can around here, please. No chance of being uh, found here. To protect my trade secrets, you won't be able to... Da, 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 da. And he'll only take 17 minutes. This is awesome. Right, you are definitely going to be going around and doing tons for us. Although it might get more dangerous in... Um, in more populated areas. Alright, that's all well and good, but we also have a merchant man, and I'm going to put that merchant man to immediate use. So, found our new ship. Who wants to be our merchanty ship then? Preferably somebody is Lamek, although I don't know who in chat is or would oust themselves, since it's going to be using our Islamic design here. I can just shut in whatever here for now and go to build mode and bring in. Here we go. Excellent. One giant thruster, not very good stats overall, but you are one big floating cargo hold to buy and sell for me. Alright, Mordcalb wants to be this, and he's going to call it the Trade Calf. Fair enough. Again, I have to keep coming into Ship Menu and auto-assign the crew, but it needs more crew than that. So that's all the more reason to... Oh, I'm docked here. That's sweet. In that case, I want to hire as many... Ooh, there was another smuggler in here already. Doesn't look like as good a smuggler as I have, though. Now, what do I need? What do I need? I need one more of you. And three more of you. And it's probably good to have some general crew, because I will want you to have some fighting power, right? Yeah, just general crews, all right. It's not like they cost a bomb. 4.5 out of 3. How does that work? Okay, okay. I'm wondering if you should have your own escort, or if we just trust you to not die on me. You're allowed two regular turrets on you, so what if I just give you... Jeez, I don't have a lot of half-decent guns, do I? Reliable doubles? Maybe a couple of reliable doubles in the hopes that this will keep you more alive. And what a hope that is. Requires gunners, but it has gunners. And now if I go back to... Oh, right, yeah, I want to install certain things into the ship, don't I? I want to put in that trade subsystem. Where's my trade tra subsystem? Here you are. Advanced trading subsystem. Economy overview. Da 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 da. 
I don't actually know if this helps the ship, but let's assume that it will. Maybe it's something like the AI doesn't care about this. Don't know, but let's put it in anyway. What are you there? Antimatter damage, resistance against it. Reduces damage taken from antimatter. Yeah, but it's only 7%. Hmm. I don't know if any of these other things affect the performance. I would like to see some numbers on how much this helps the automated captains, because the automation appeals to me. Even so, let's hope that that's enough for you. Also, that's... Eh, no, that should be fine. That should be fine. Let's get back to not Clubber Seal, but Super Pie. And then we tell... Oh, right. Asdaf. Asdaf. I need to go and change that name, didn't I? Where do we change ship names? I believe it's in Player, Fleet, Asdaf. Here we go. And you want it to be called the Trade Calf, do you? Preferably with a caps lock on. Then... We don't have the captain, but the captain is aboard... You. Which we need to again get closer to, because no, no transporters. At least this thing's quite maneuverable. Hopefully it can get itself out of a jam if it needs to, because it may well end up in a jam. So get yourself... Uh, that captain. Overpopulated thanks to that one captain. Interesting, so ditch that. Ship is overpopulated. Low morale. Really? 14 crew out of 13 spaces. In that case, I think we can spare another crewman. And that'll keep us okay. There we go. Alright, who's our latest merchant captain here then? I think that's going to be Sergeant Dirt. Seems to be okay. Now, again, never done this before, so let's hope this works out fine. I'm going to tell Trade Calf to go on a trading expedition. Traveling, mining, scrapping, refining, procuring, selling, trading. Where can you trade? I, I don't know. Can you just generally trade around here? Commander, with all due respect, I can't work like this. No routes found in the area. We should explore more sectors. Oh, right. So I need to figure out trade routes first. What if I told you to trade around, say, here? With all due respect, I can't work like this. So I can't get trading unless I know trade routes. Yeah, how does that work? Maybe... Oh, right, I see, I see. It wasn't actually selecting over here, it was selecting that. So perhaps once this patrol is done, I can tell you what to do. Send it through the wormhole first. Well, surely the trading is more lucrative around here than back in Baby Zone. I don't know when or why I'd ever return there. How are you doing then? Still 11% to be done on that. Maybe I'll just leave you here, and then once the exploration is done, I will have you go and do some trading. So for now, Trade Calf is going to stay in the assumed safety of being near this. Which is still going to cost me money, but that just sucks to be me. Doesn't change the fact that I still need another escort ship. So we're going to make yet another one. 
found a new ship. Right, who in chat feels like they have the strength where Demon failed? Although you're going to be the same ship as... Hang on, before I do that, I was going to see if it's easier just to remake the ship. Ooh, that's right, that's right. I'm still going to be stealing Demon's name away, right? They're dead to me. They're dead to us all. Was it a repair dock that did it, though? I thought it was a repair dock. Um, reconstruction kit. I could buy a kit, but I don't want to. Towing service for Demon. Brings the wreckage, quickly reassembles it. Maybe in need of repairs. Okay, so if I tow Demon over here... Not all turrets could be restored, because they weren't in your inventory. Uh -huh. So where is Demon now, then? Is it instant? It is! Also, you are dying, Sunshine. Damage, da 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 And then... To do repairs on you costs honestly not that much. Probably cheaper than remaking you altogether. Reconstruction kits seem like a good idea to quickly and effectively remake yourself. But we already own a reconstruction kit, really? Oh, we destroyed it, but okay. Maybe you can use it as many times? Now... One thing, that name has got to go, doesn't it? It certainly does. So, demon is a demon no more. You're going to be, going to be... Chumro. Since they volunteer, don't they? Now, Chumro. Wow, we kept the subsystems. Either we pick those up, or we somehow get to keep the subsystems when we get destroyed. Uh, but we don't have all the guns, and we certainly want the guns. Oh, man. Two of the front ones got torn off. The rest seem okay, so we just need to shove a couple more guns on you. It still has its defensive one, so it did have point defense. I guess it's just that 1.7k hull isn't quite enough. Even so, that was a big attack, surely. Surely. So perhaps against non-horrible big attacks we'll do even better. Standard plasma gun. And... What else is a gun? Standard force cannon. Don't know what force cannon does. Doesn't seem like the right kind of weapon to use, though, for some reason. Reliable double minigun. Alright, now, do you have enough staff on hand for this? Interestingly, you do. I guess the crew stayed alive? Okay, so that's a very good idea to make uh, to remake your ships like that, but I'm a little confused. I thought we used up the repair kit for it by doing that, or the reconstruction kit, rather. Chum Row, Trade Cut, Super Pie, Billy DeRue's, Glubber Seal, Protozomac. So, we do... Maybe that's a normal mode thing. I recall reading that in normal mode you get reconstruction kit. So maybe it's just a way of... Uh, not having to go and buy one each time? Interesting. I will take it. Right. Back to you, and to you tell Chumro to escort us and do a better job than your predecessor. Yeah, what happened to Nice Dark Young? I miss that Young. Right. So looking at this, we are being followed by Clubber Seal and Chumro. But if we face an attack like that again, we are we're in for a bad time. Okay, never mind. We've got ourselves decent captains. We've kind of started putting them to use, although I want to get that trade going as soon as we know about the trade routes. Now, let's get some more missions done. Actually, I'll tell you what I'd really like to do is start doing that trading mission, because I don't understand anything about trade in this game yet. Rules of the trade. Buy energy cells. We haven't managed to find energy cells. At least to my knowledge. You sure don't have them here. Uh, 
Well then, hang on, do you, you don't have a dab of map, do you? I swear there were some places that sell maps. Rift research, equipment, da 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 da. Okay, never mind. Also, I want to have a quick jump over to uh, Clubber Seal. There you are. You're st oh, okay. Clubber Seal can see a mass signature there. And Super Pie cannot. So that's difficult. Either I have to keep jumping over to Clubber Seal or I permanently use up a slot in Super Pie. Neither friend. Oh, pirates. Right, well, don't mind me. Do you think this is a gate? Do you? Come on, I've fought bigger, harder things than you by now. Uh, oh wow. Oh, who is this monster? 720 Omicron frigate just blew those pirates out of existence. Very cool. At least my trade ship is going to be safe here. Um, I wanted to help so I could at least get some some bonus for that. However, I will, in a sense, help myself. Because debris is still goodies. Am I being followed by my escorts? Apparently, I'm just not seeing Chumro do a lot of moving. Where's Chumra? Hello, Chumro. What's that firing going on over there? Ah, there you are, Chumro. You're just too small that I couldn't see you. Are you moving? Don't know why you're so far away from the... Hmm? One of your captains sent you a yield. Right. There we go. We're starting to get nanite and a lot more titanium. That I appreciate. I'm not going to recall you. Keep at it. And you're still exploring there. Okay, I don't know why you went so far away from there, but I want you to dock at the shipyard, please. Trade calf. And then stay there until I give you a mission. And then... Super Pie. I am debating whether or not to make another escort for Super Pie because clearly fights are getting a bit... Yeah. Truth be told, I want two more escorts. One for mining and one for... Um, or rather, one for salvaging and one for... Um, fighting. Let's see how much it starts costing to make these. So if I want to found another ship, it's still only costing titanium. So I want one person in chat for a fighter or a scavenger. We'll make you, you'll join our posse, and then we'll keep on moving. Honestly, one could almost imagine that you made ship prototypes for the original homeworld, says Ninjin. <laughs> I see it. I see it. Still working on my Star of David design. Okay, 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 okay. I see that Kriegi TV is coming in to be a fighter. See, other people weren't uh, designating what they wanted to be, and that's a problem. I'm sorry to say that I'm just using this fairly standard design for it. I think if people put forward their own designs and wanted to join in our posse, I wouldn't be opposed to it. But I don't want you to just take things off of the workshop. Now, I have stolen one thing from the workshop, and it might not be the last of what I steal from there. Oh, plus all the turret designs. But that's neither here nor there. Alright, Kriggy TV. You say you're quite the fighter, but I'm actually pretty low on good fighting guns to give you. Um, modules are important as well. Subsystems, rather. Arbitrary turret slots. Yeah, I stole that. And, and, and... Armed turret slots. Sure. Well, that'll give you six guns, which should do you just fine. And I'm not going to bother with the fancy things on the front. You're going to have to prove yourself in combat first. What the heck are these dual force cannons? Does anybody know how they operate? 
Well, it needs to be placed on titanium. And that's just iron hull, isn't it? But, let's see. Apparently... Oh, that's a buy sprayer. Apparently quite powerful, though. Might want that on my main ship. I think I'll just fill you with, uh... So-so guns. There we go, that should be able to take care of anything and everything, right? One can certainly hope. As long as you shoot for me, we're okay. So now I give you the order to escort me. If I tell a mining ship to escort me, are they going to also go off and fight? Because I don't want them to. Ah, captains are needed for mining sectors. And for salvaging. There are other ways to give them such orders, but that's a bit of a scutter. I wonder if there's another captain available in this sector. A smuggler, a scientist, and a classless. Stealthy, cunning, commoner. Increased profits. Very low risk of being ambushed. Quite low salary. I think I'll get some useless commoner to be my uh, little mining pet. So one thing I will do is go and dock over here with... Cl not Club Seal. Super Pie. And while Super Pie sorts that out... Oh, don't hit me. We've found yet another ship, and now it's starting to cost now night, so it's getting a bit serious. Okay, right, uh, for laser precision of carving up our opponents, we're going to want a laser kiwi. I really need to get some more designs, just using this for everything is going to be a bit, yeah. I know there are some nice designs, maybe I could just steal another one and no one will know the difference. At least then I'll be able to tell them apart. Because there was a really cool design for a scavenger miner thing. It's not ecumenical at all, though. It's a wee bumblebee-style thing. There was another one, though, of a similar look. Look at that wee bugger. Imagine that going around carving things up. Mm. <laughs> it's just imagining the hours it would take me to design something this nice. I guess it wouldn't take hours if you had experience, but I do not. But one of these going around and carving up salvage is quite tempting. I suppose one of the downsides is they don't have cargo space to be carrying what they grab there. Not really sure I'm up for putting a big thing like this to go around uh, carving up. Force cannons help when your ship is very big. You're flying through an asteroid field. They push them out of the way. Surely part of the charm of your long player, your unique ship designs. And we'll still be making them. But I feel like I'd save quite a bit of time if I just grab... Mm, bumblebee? I quite like the look of the bumblebee. I do wonder about that... Um... Lack of cargo space, though. I guess the the cluing up is that I would want... Hmm. Yeah, if you can't carry cargo, then I suppose I'd need to have you nearby me to do it. Not that that's a bad thing. It's better than having to manually take it all in. And there's not a lot of space for cargo on you. All right, you know what? We'll take you. And besides, you're for scavenging specifically. So if I put on my... Where's my R scavenging laser? I really should do this by... No, actually, what I could do is... Do I really have no scavenging lasers? No, it's not scavenge. It's salvaging. And I don't want purifying. Standard R salvage, R salvage... Man, I need to look for some more salvage stuff. 
In any case, come with me and we'll see if that works out for you. As ever, I need you to auto, auto assign your crew. And you don't need a lot of crew, but you will later on. You have space for more at least. And another thing I suppose is, do we want any kind of subsystems on you? Mining subsystem. Material level up. I think that's all I have for mining. I wouldn't want to lose that to you just blowing up for no good reason, though. But that material level could help me if I end up going a little too deep. You also only have room for one thing. Break alloys, filters for all salvaging lasers. Break stone for mining. Breaks alloys filter for salvaging. Breaks stone for mining. Don't know what you mean, but I'm sure you mean something. Now, where is... Oh right, I sent you off, didn't I? Super pie. There we go. Billy Drew has finished his scouting. That I like to... Holy moly! Tell me, are these trade routes? Does that mean I can send the trade calf to trade around here? Commander, with all due respect, I can't work like this. You need more money. He needs millions more money. Alright, that depends what I want you to go and fly around trading. I can do lower down payment. Well, I could give you more down payment, right? Wait, who's who's doing the down payment? Me or him? This is quite new to me. Well, it's entirely new to me. We'll fill the contract for this trade route. That's only a few flights. Fast. Customers should will not get impatient. Little activity. I rate the chance is low, but not zero. While we're away, I'm taking full command of the ship. Da 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 da. But the price margin of that's pretty pathetic. Could we do aluminium instead? Definitely a chance that we will lose the contract in the meantime, because the customer gets impatient. Don't really know what I'm reading here. Sounds like a risky amount of money to give him an endowment payment. Definitely a chance it will fail. How do I see failure chance, or is that just him saying? Three to ten fights. The problem is the acid makes almost no money for me, doesn't it? Right. We'll fulfill the contract. Only a few flights fast. Chance low, not zero while we're away, full command. It's just a lot of money to throw at one thing that might not work. How about we go with energy cells? and I give you loads of money. At least then I can see how it works. Get on that and tell me how it goes. Meanwhile though, our very own... Crickets, who's our explorer again? Billy Daru. I want you to go on some more exploring, scouting or whatever what's called. Ah, you can only do it around where I am, I think? Or maybe around where you are. So perhaps what I need to do is tell you to travel elsewhere. Where are you even? Focus on you. Okay, so you're around here. If I tell you to travel over here and then scout around here, maybe we'll learn a bit more about what's out there. And I'd rather you travel to a safe zone. So Billy Daru, I want you to travel to there. Hmm? 
travel to there. Ambush probability through the roof. Unless you go super stealthy like. Using a ship this week seems risky. It's possible we'll be attacked. They want to wait forever on you. What if I tell you to take a safer route? Like to there. Oh, he still thinks it's risky. He thinks this whole area is risky. That's cool, but you're meant to be a stealthy guy, so come on. Travel to there. And do it all stealthy-like. Did you manage to beat the Pokemon Stadium? Ugh. How could I possibly spoil it for everybody? I was about to say it live. YouTube tells you when HD processing is complete. It said it's complete, but it was not. It loves to lie to you. Okay, so with a bit of luck, that's some nice automated trade money. And soon exploring. And mining. So we need to go and do some jobs. So where are the jobs at? feel like I'm missing something. Like there was something else I was planning on doing but didn't do. I think it was hiring this loser. And then where's my where's my tiny little mining vessel? Actually where is my little mining vessel? Laser Kiwi? I need you to escort me. And I'll come closer to you and give you this captain, so now you should be able to salvage whenever we blow stuff up. I'm just going to be worried if we're in a big fight and Laser Kiwi just ends up getting blown up completely. That would suck for me. And thinking about it, that's quite likely to happen. Since I am going around killing things right now. Hmm. You were going to do an orange mark and set up a base. No, I don't think I was. I don't recall talking about setting up bases. Oh, but I was going to go to one of the yellow blips on the map, wasn't I? Yeah, I think it was here. So I'm keen to see what kind of unknown stuff there is. Started building cloning pads with Xanion gives me the shivers. Oh yeah, there was an option earlier about cloning crew. Don't know exactly how that works. Someday I will. Right. We need to go up and nuzzle our scavenging, scavenging friend. That was a little close for a nuzzle. It's okay, we both have crew to repair such uh, trivial damage. Crew will fix your ships passively. Received an emergency call. Ah, well, sometimes the job comes to you. Well, it depends where it is. I do want to investigate that weird bubbly, uh, bubbly thing. Right, you transfer crew. Uh, take this captain. And now you should be able to auto mine. So if I give you an order, I can tell you to salvage the sector, which I at some point may want you to do. For now though, just escort me. It'd be nice if there was a, you know, keep yourself damn safe option, run away from enemies, but might be asking too much. What was that distress beacon? Search and rescue, search and rescue, search and rescue? Uh, here it is. Emergency signal from an unknown source. Can you hear us? Emergency. And I'm guessing that's that search and rescue thing. We've seen this before and I ignored it because I was like, I don't want to check all these places and potentially not find anything. And I still feel like that. So first, I'm not going to check that out until we check out Clover Seal's thing, which is right there. So let's -a go. Keep forgetting who we even are. We're Super Pi. How could I forget Super Pi? I don't mind this. That's our stealthy friend trying to stealth his way around. That's the Glasgow nuzzle.
Now, on the one hand, I really want one of my ships to get ambushed just so I can see how that plays out. But on the other hand, I don't obviously don't want my ships being ambushed. It sounds like a definite bad thing. I was hoping it was just a case of adding any gun will lower the risk of being ambushed, but perhaps we do need to invest in decent guns on those automated guys, or or an escort, of course. But more ships, more cost. Now it's starting to cost now night, and doing more will then demand a kind of rock that I don't have yet. And as we found, they can already kick our arse in this sector. Holy smokes, look at all this. It is asteroids aplenty, and there's a valuable object to be had. Where's this valuable object? Are you the valuable object? You're certainly what we're focused on for some reason. Is it really the valuable object? It doesn't seem that valuable. Valuable object, plural detected. Ah, probably that mine. Uh, that mineable asteroid, rather. So in that case, Super Pie... Uh, escort that mine? And then I'll probably just sell the damn thing and see what's, uh, what's what elsewhere. While we're at it, I should make note of this base being amazing for asteroids. So, add note, just clunk. Do I see now a night? Not sure. Any shiny green rocks? Has the Convorak enrichment procedure been happening here? What is it? it's, it's Kovarex, isn't it? I often get his name wrong. The Factorio guy. Right. An asteroid this size can definitely be mined out. Clump into the thing now. Uh, that's fine. Now, if we just sell the asteroid, we get decent money. I mean, no good reason not to just take that money. Setting up mines costs way too much. Now, are you telling me there's another valuable thing here? Yes. But where? Is is this it? Possibly. Go up to that thing. Three legendary tier subsystems turned into something weird, an artifact with two scratches on it. Oh jeez, what are you doing? <laughs> uh... Clan of Fespi don't like me by another 12,000 because my ship automatically started shooting at that asteroid. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Maybe our guns should be off. Just in case you do that kind of stuff again. What do they own? Well, they own that one. I just sold it to them. Imagine someone sells you something and just starts breaking it right in front of you. No need to get close to the beacon. Be wary of pirates. What we're hauling of is of near infinite value. Uh, okay. Found a beacon with a cryptic message, da da da. I'm assuming that there's something at a Y coordinate like that. Probably not much point tracking that. Distress call. Should we check the distress call? A few things we can do. What I could certainly do is that search and rescue first, so Super Pi, let's go.
distress signals to the north, though. Hmm. Yeah, screw it. We'll go. We'll go to the distress signal first, and then do a search and rescue. You'd think the distress call is somewhat immediately needing our assistance. There we go, an actual fleet. Although I feel like I'm missing one of my attack ships. And I am. Ki uh, Kriegi TV is still out there. Well, you can you can catch up with us later. Is there any benefit to having a captain on a ship that you're already using? Come on, warp in. Hmm. <laughs> it's a shame only two of you are there for fighting. I, I worry a bit about this salvaging thing. Well, at least it means after a fight, whilst I'm busy picking through debris and whatnot, you can go and uh, take care of the ships. Ah, but still, without any um, without any cargo on you, I wonder how effective that'll be. Captains give passive benefits. Commodore is good if you're flagship for extra turrets. Another fake distress call. With actual Omicron. Oh jeez, that's a lot of them. That is a heck of a lot of them. In that case... We should just get out of here. Oh, cooling the engine? Is something hurting my engines here? Oh, I don't think I'm losing a ship or two today. That's the second time a distress call is... Oh, bye-bye, Laser Kiwi. Yeah, there goes the ship that can salvage all these things that we are needing to salvage around here. Really wishing I had Kiri TV with me. Thank you, point defense. Oh, Chumro's gone. Well, that's not good. Man, maybe these extra ships I'm making just don't cut the mustard. I need them to be big and badass. Whoa, 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 look at all that, look at all that salvage just floating by. I need that. I want that. Uh, maybe it'll still be there later. Who put me from where? You there. I use my own flagship as a template for my escorts, because I know it can survive a fight. You know, you might be onto something there. Man, I want those goods. Hopefully clearing out these pirates will make that uh, other guy like me more. The, the guys that I just shot at for a while. Any more pirates here? Doesn't look like it. 
but plenty of loot. I wonder if I can just tell you to... Oh no, you don't have a captain. I think my captain is dead. Yeah, you're right, I also have no shields, don't I? We need to use now a knight for that. Mobile resource merchant here. I'll be offering my services for 15 minutes. Where's your home? Vespi Prime. Hold on, do I know about Vespi Prime? 329152. 329152. Yeah, I know all about Vespi Prime. Use your reconstruction kits near the wrecks. Is that how it works? I thought I needed to go to a shipyard to, to do that. Let's try it, though. Oh, maybe you mean near their wrecks. Well, I don't know where the wrecks are, so never mind that. So, if we reconstruct Laser Kiwi... And... Your Chumro died as well, right? Now, where are they? Oh, the shipyard is only if you don't have the kit. Ah, okay, so that's why we didn't use the kit at the, the junkyard. I see now. I see it all now. So much, so much scrappy crappy around here. Okay, where are my ships at? Laser Kiwi. I need to give you an order to salvage the sector, assuming that you still have your salvage guns. Severely damaged, yeah, I know, I know. But do you have your salvaging guns? It looks like you do. We can't salvage, there's no space in our cargo bay. Ah, jeez, okay. So it seems like you do need a cargo bay. And this could hurt you a fair bit. I wonder how, what this thing was designed for then, if it doesn't, um, doesn't have cargo bay. Cargo bays work better when they are large. If I just slam you in here unceremoniously... You cannot edit it before it's repaired. Well, it doesn't cost a lot to repair, so there you go. Yeah, <laughs> looks dumb. Oh, dumb beyond measure. There you go. Go and figure out how to use that. Your acceleration is a bit of a joke, though. Yeah, go, my flying brick. Now, while we're at it, I do want that... Kriegi TV to come and join me, but damn, they get annihilated so quickly. That's quite nice to see automated. We need beefier ships, please. Ah, oh, man. I don't think I could design those on the fly. I could steal the pre-maids. That's so lame. Right. I need to go here, here, then here. And hopefully you don't get caught along the way.
We have a ship named Trade Calf. How much beefier can you get? Trade Bull, Trade Ox, Trade Tauros, obviously, after its uh, position, after the, the amount of help it gave us before. Man, there's got to be some auto auto assign option. Having to click auto assign on every ship seems wrong. I mean, why would you not auto assign? Not enough crew members for the guns. Oh yeah, I think one of the things I was meant to do was get you some crew members, wasn't it? Okay, we finished the shipment. Here's the money. It's only 61,000 credits, though. That doesn't seem very good. Ah, but they're going to do another another flight, of course. Of course, of course. Rotozamak is mining. Tradecalf's trading. Billy Daru is still moving, and thankfully doesn't appear to be getting caught either. Now, I want to go to Super Pie, as usual. Super Pie is going to tell... Everybody to um, to escort them. Um, yeah, Chamber as well, I suppose. And then Super Pie themselves are going to go and head over to there and see what they're selling. Actually, I can just speak to them to find out what they're selling. A friend of mine is obsessed with these beacons, you find. Messages encoded in them. It's all nonsense. Well, we found one of them. And these don't look like the best deals around. I suppose an easy way to make a big load of buck, but I'd rather bank up as much of this stuff as possible. So I guess we're not selling to the resource market. Sweet Billy Daru made it without getting attacked. That means it's time for your new job to scout around here. I want to know anyone and anyone around here. Mark newly discovered sectors with da 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 da. It's risky. We'll be attacked. Well, cope with the situation. The more we learn, the better, right? Oh, it shows whether or not it's been discovered by him. Well, you you were around here. It still says undiscovered by. I thought he... I'm quite certain that you charted this area for me. Why does it say... Oh, it says uncovered, not undiscovered. Ah, okay, okay. Reading comprehension can help you. And there we go. More now, right? Keep on mining, man. What about sending the mining ship out to look for now, Knight? Well, it's a salvage ship rather than a mining ship. Also, Chumro, you don't look so good. You shouldn't be very expensive to repair, though. Yeah, that's not going to get you repaired. With that, the squadron's somewhat ready to go. I am so unsure what to do with Laser Kiwi, though. It'd be nice if I could just have you by my side instead of out getting shot to shreds. Oh well, can figure that out soon enough. Uh, we wanted to go on a search and rescue. Well, I wanted to go on a search and rescue. Oh, right, but I always need to check with clubber seal, if there are any orange dots around here. And there are a few! Tag, tag, and tag. That's funny, why is it just tag and not... Um... Oh, it's note, right. So you have to tag something before you can add a note into it. Alright, but that tagging is quite useful. Let's go and check out what it's all about. Maybe there will be salvage in one of them and I can use Laser Kiwi. 
But I would quite like to find a shipyard to get some more of those um, reconstruction kits, because that's very useful. Alright, Super Pie, let's go. Ooh. Lots of framework for generators and shields. Oh yeah, there is that inside the throwaway ones that I have. I've never built shields, but I think we need to be, a, be at a shipyard to make those. Alright. Is there anything valuable here, or is it just an asteroid belt? There's some wreckage. Well, it just so happens I have somebody that can deal with that, don't I? Do you have any crap inside you right now? I can't believe you have to nuzzle so closely. I need teleporters. Alright, you, you didn't get a whole lot, did you? A wire, some titanium and iron. Well, that's not very good. What I want you to do is go and salvage this sector. Like floating box. Thinking about it, my own guns could certainly do with an upgrade. Although I'm pretty happy with the performance of the point defense. Do you think you could build your own shipyard? I'm pretty sure you can do that. Yeah, nothing valuable found here. I'm curious to see how you handle tearing that apart. You might find something good in the salvage. Otherwise, my thing tells me if there's valuable asteroids, which is great. It's good to know that I don't need to bother doing that constantly myself. Can you specify your ship's behavior in battle? I don't think you can do much with that. Although, I'm open to being wrong. I want to see how you salvage this. And again, why bother going there manually? This is exactly what we have automation for. Oh, I don't want to salvage it though. Well, I won't be able to, will I? Uh, let's turn off our guns in case we get any funny ideas. Or not. Script better. I know better. Just boost all the way. I want to watch that uh, deconstruction by our little laser kiwi. Hopefully nobody owns this wreckage. That's a big thing to tear apart. Come on, dampeners, dampen harder. The crew of Clubber Seal was paid. 10,000 credits as well? I'm not sure I approve of that. In fact, I'm quite certain that I don't. Alright, you get to work. I'm sure there was something I was thinking about, but I've forgotten. Ah, there we go. So that's breaking off and you're getting goodies. It is slow, though. I think she could be there all day. Uh, but if I just leave you to this, you'll be, you'll surely get attacked and then die. Right, there was something I was wanting to do, though, before this. I can't remember what it was, so I'm sure it's not important. There is a thought to upgrade my current ship with the now knight that we have, but I would need a shipyard for that. All right, yeah, there are these other places to go. And this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to add a note here that there be asteroids. Lots of asteroids. It's only breaking cheap hull blocks. You're not wrong about that one. What if we go and take over you? And then try to break something that might be worth something, anything.
Ah, uh, it's taking that familiar long time. Maybe there are certain parts of the ship that are worth a whole lot more? Well, if anything, it would probably be those parts that I was looking at earlier. We are under attack. Billy DeRue is under attack. Alright, so we finally find out what that's all about. What do we do with that? Do we switch to Billy Daru or do we trust that he'll be okay? We can switch to the sector and say what he's doing if nothing else. Uh, Billy Daru, maybe you should get the heck out of there. Ooling? Oh, don't give me that. Oh, I think you're very dead. No point defense on this guy. Oh, bye-bye, Hull. Using up our valuable, um. Using up our very valuable. Ah, Christ. Right, how, how much longer on this? 17 seconds? Okay, so don't accept. So this is how bad it is to get um, ambushed. Ne good at all. What's that? This jump route calculated. Hmm. I guess that stopped your action now, hasn't it? Yeah. So I probably need to switch back to my other ship. Oh yeah, and I can't, I can't let them get attacked. They're talking about those subspace thingamajiggers. So I suppose I go back to... Super Pie. And then I tell... Billy to get back to his scanning. When a trader gets attacked, you have to give it the cell mission to empty cargo. Ooh, that sounds unpleasant. We're not using any gameplay ma mods here, hexagon -y you. Although I've picked a few uh, ships from the workshop, uh, well, various designs from the workshop. So, I'm not sold on Laser Kiwi's great uses right now. I want you to escort me for now, and I'll figure out what to do. Well, what we're going to do is check out this, but I also need to give Billy Daru the order to scout again. I do want that scouting done good and proper. Alien ships tend to just... Looks like he did, to, did do a fair bit of scouting. In that case, could you scout around here as well, please? I'm sure you'll be fine. As for us... Everybody else is uh, escorting me, so... Supai, get going. Bye bye, Hull, that's Yorkshire. Ah, I do my best not to think of Yorkshire. Right, there is a wormhole here. Goes off in some unknown place. Probably somewhere far stronger than we can handle. So for now, it's probably just a good idea to add a note that there is a wormhole here. And I think this was another orange place we wanted to check out. So check it out, we shall.
Valuable objects detected, now that's what I like to hear. Are you the valuable object? Uh, while I'm at this, by the way, you should have cargo for me now. Probably not much, but I still want to keep you emptied. Preferably without just nose bumping you. There we go, I was barely anything worth our time. So, where are these valuables? The valuable is you. Oh, another one of these things. Might have another message about where to go to get some sweet loot. Now, where is it? I also wonder if that wreckage is worth anything, but... It just feels like wreckage salvaging is a time-taking, time thankless task. Is that not the same beacon that we saw before? We'll be under this mission thing, the Exodus. It's the same, same bleeding message. Have I seen you before or something? Wind's nose. Let's go try it. Search and rescue. Haven't tried that before. Starting to feel the weakness though. These uh, pirates that obliterate my escorts. And I think if I didn't have those escorts getting obliterated, they'd take out my main ship. Troubling. Well, perhaps when I make my giant Star of David design, then we'll be able to tear that one apart so readily. You know, since laser kiwi's just going off and dying, maybe I should give you mining lasers and just tell you to to go and automatically mine rather than anything else. Right. What have we here? Emergency call. We're in a life-threatening situation. Please help us. I am on my way. At least for once it's not a a trap. Super pie. Go and fly there. Uh, that's not there. That is far from there. I find it hard to judge this. There. Fly to there. Probably everyone dead already. Okay, mm, there must be a way to better up my salvaging game. What could it be? But one thing I'm really thinking about is just giving um, Laser Kiwi a safe place to go mining. If I just told you to hang around here... All due respect, I can't work like this. We have no mining equipment. Oh yeah, that's right. But if I gave you some mining equipment... Maybe you could just go and uh, do some passive mining. And if you die, I'm not going to be too heartbroken about that. Or I just scrap you. I actually tried to find a 3D model of the Star of David. It shouldn't be that hard to make in-game, but I'd still just rather not have to put in the hours on that. Even so, when you get a full-fledged model, you still have to tear out a lot to make it functional. Right, so what's, what's your story? I don't seem to be able to interact with you whatsoever. Ah, now I can. Scan the wreckage. Empty. No heat. Crew are frozen stiff. 
torn apart, toxic fumes. Okay. Whoever finds this message, please bring the information home to our families. They need to know about our fates. I see. It said the thing has been torn apart, right? Well, I know a thing or two about tearing apart, don't I? Laser Kiwi. Salvage this thing. And again, it would be nice if Laser Kiwi came and just brrr, five or ten seconds later this thing was gone, but... It's not. It's a fairly agonizing process. Why are you all the way back there? Oh, I bet, um, I bet just looking at your other option made you give up on, um, on following me. Hmm. Maybe I can help you out a bit. Too far. Clearly more salvage ships are needed. See, I wonder about that, because there's a bit of a limit on the ships you can make, thanks to the increasing cost. Soon, ships are going to start costing me Trinium, which I do not have, nor do I have access to. How did Clubber Seal end up with that stuff? Trade Camp has finished! And has money for me. Also, pirates are here. Well, I'll take the money for sure. Let's have a look at these pirates. Right, well, if you're busy salvaging over there, you might not just die. Come and have a go, then. Oh, wow. Okay, you guys really want some, don't you? At least this time it's four on three, I think. As long as they don't have a big friend to come and help them. Oh, oh these are some pathetic ships. 20-something Omicron. Twenty something Omicron. So what was up with those other ships that just came and tore me to shreds then? Omicron or Nomicron? Still needs getting killed. Splendid. It feels so good playing a game like this and having AIs like this just competently help you out. It's like when Ada Wong joins you in the sewer in Resident Evil 2. <laughs> and she unleashes the 50 cal. I, I did end up re-watching what happened in that RE2 run, and yet, for some reason, Ada Wong just has the exploding kneecaps gun. Well, sadly, these chump pirates didn't have anything worth our time. I'm curious if Laser Kiwi is finding anything over there, though. I can always check on my fleet view what's going on with them. Laser Kiwi is finding wire and glass and scrap. And Trade Calf needs a job. So let's see what Trade Calf can do for us. Trade, one would hope. Maybe you'd rather trade in this region? I'm getting the chance of escort. Oh, I'd like a stronger ship or an escort. Maybe I really should start giving you decent escorts for this. Or we stick to safer areas. This seemed rather safe, didn't it? Only a 3% chance. Uh, aluminium's got the markup. I'll have to fly a few times. There's definitely a chance we'll lose the contract in the meantime, because the customer gets very impatient. I don't know what that means, though. Does that mean there's a chance he can actually fail this and not make any money?
Not what you're loath, forgive the ignorance. Can you not put more salvage guns on? If I had more salvage guns, yes, but I don't currently. Thing to be traded around here. Energy cells have a good bonus to them, but it's too risky to be flying around there. Well, I guess if anything, this is a safer place to be. And I don't want you getting destroyed out there. Yeah, screw it. Take all my money and get it done. And don't get attacked now. I need that money. Jings, that was more than half of what I had. Well, Laser Kiwi is tearing it apart, but getting nothing but fairly useless scrap. So, Kiwi, we need you to continue to escort me. And then, well, we got that mission done in a one -er. So what I would like to know is if there's anything else out here worthy of our time. Clubber Seal? Nothing detected, huh? Resource depot, trading depot, silicon, lots of mining going on. There was mention of energy cells being around, and I do eventually want to figure out that uh, trade mission, so maybe I will head over here. See if I can pick up some energy cells, at least start that mission. Very well then. Switch to Super Pi, and let's go. Uh, cancel that. How do I cancel that? That's it. There's a bit of energy signature there. I want to see what it is. And all my ships are following me. Good. Is a gigantic cross a plausible design? How gigantic. I don't think... Just a single giant cross would be great for many things. Turning your ship for one. I guess a top-down... In a way, a lot of ships are just a giant cross, aren't they? But I want the cross to be glowing. We do have the chakra wheel design, but I need to modify it into an actually functional ship. Alright, what do we have here? Uh... A resource depot, if nothing else, so I'd quite like to see what's going on around here. Ah, another faction's attacking. How do we feel about... We're neutral to the Zeragax, so there's no good reason for us to join in this fight. However, there is pretty good reason for us to go for that salvage. Especially since we're locked onto a 900 Omicron here. If that thing goes down, there's probably some nice bits and bobs to be had out of it. And it's probably going to go down. Holy smokes, maybe they're going to win? Look, they're blowing everything up. That note, down you went. So we're just going to la 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 la. Oh damn, they're picking up the goods. No one said you could pick up the goods. I want the goods. Come to me, come to me. Okay, it's just scrap, really. Not that scrap is that bad, but I wanted nice modules and things. Hey, maybe that blew up with some swell modules. But you yeah, came along and totaled the, uh, totaled the station. Now that's hardcore. Scrap titanium, guns... Opportunity knocks, baby, and I open the door. I think some of that stuff is considered uh, faction only. Any other goodies that have dropped and are worth our time? Not that I can tell, but I'm very bad at noticing the highlights for that. Billy Drew has scouted successfully. Excellent. In that case, Billy, I want you to continue your exploration. I guess you explored around there then, didn't you? So... 
You think you could travel up here and explore this for me? Or maybe we should work our way closer towards the core. So if you make your way over to, say, IPNA Organization, and then explore around there, that'd be cool. Do it safely. Ooh, jeez. Using a ship this week is risky. Maybe, just maybe, I shouldn't be working my way towards more deadly places. Perhaps filling out this void would be a better idea. As wimpy as that might feel. Jeez, you still think that's risky? Get over there anyway. So, seems I need to give my captains better guns. Right, what jobs do we have around here? Resource depot. Forget job, I'm actually curious about your goods. That's not what I was looking for, evidently. Plastic and factory. Okay, they just sell fabric altogether. You'd probably set up a nice uh, triangle trade in this game. I have news for you. I do? Thanks for letting us know. We transferred money to your account for your troubles. Oh, okay. Didn't even realize I had to tell you that, but fine. As long as I get that money, right? Did we only get 32,000 credits for that? Does the game log our completed missions? Not sure it does. In the trade mission, there were two buttons at the bottom. They're long and wide trade areas. You can sometimes get much better deals covering a longer area. Ah. We'll have to look into that one then. But right now, we don't have anyone idling, do we? No, doing a trade route, mining resources, and you are traveling, soon to be exploring. Alright, so I'm curious if there are any good jobs for us here. A bulletin board, that's the one. Resources, resources, and delivery. I'm moderately interested in delivery. It's a pretty low amount of dosh for it though, so probably not even worth our time. Yeah, nah. Even if we're going along the way, I don't want to be someone's errand boy for no good reason. I did like coming here and finding all that scrap, though. That feels good. What I would like to know is what was new. It'd be nice if it showed you anything that was a new pickup here, because I haven't very good at paying attention to what, uh, what I do pick up. I would have picked up more than that, though, right? I would have picked up some modules. They're called subsystems, but they look like the old Factorio module design in my eyes. Still have that freebie. Hmm. Radar range. Wait, how does that even help me? Radar for what? It is telling you the new ones are flat. Oh, good lord, I did not notice that. So you're saying that this one just below is new. And it stops flashing once you highlight it. Well, that's cool. Oh, Jinx, this game's thought of everything. Even things that I thought I'm thinking of. So if I look at the turrets, you're new. A flawless jewel chain gun. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, right, I was wanting to check out more in the area. Clubber Seal, where are you at? You should be close to me since you are on escort. Switch to you, look for any interesting signatures. There aren't any. But there are a lot of asteroids over here, so I should probably add a note. Asteroids. Resource, chemical, rice farm, potato farm. Does anybody know where I get those energy cells that I meant to start my trading mission with? A bunch of mines. Probably one of these trading posts will have it, so I'm going to go over to this trading post. Is there a way to add a note that there's good trade here? Yeah. I should probably add something like that. Good trading area. I'm assuming it's good. It better be good. Super pie. Well, for one, switch to super pie. For two, let's go... Uh, 
go and go. Actually, undo that. Go there, then there, just in case there's a valuable object with all those asteroids. Can you buy or create your stations? Yep. Don't know how, though. Well, I'm assuming you can. Why would you not? Look at all the potential for building one of those. There'd be complaints if you couldn't. Solar farm cell energy cells, then most generic trading stations. It's very expensive and sometimes doesn't have much return on building your own station. Maybe there's a specific kind of trade setup you want to do, but it would be more convenient to have your own station along the way. Ditto for mining. I must have put a lot of work into making those stations. I knew it. There's valuable objects here. Tell me more. Tell me a lot more. It's over here. Zoo. Tell me considerably more. What even is it? <laughs> it's a nuke. It's gonna go off when you get close to it. Wait, you are the valuable object? Here, some kind of Fespy Prime thing. Scumbag Wotan, da 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 da. Hyperspace really strong, why do people follow him? Money, betraying, smugglers, poor bastards. Okay, well, good to know. Are you really the valuable object, though? I don't think so. No, no, you're not. This is the valuable object. It's, uh, one of these. I think that's one of the boxes I meant to hack. And I'm pretty sure I put in a hacker thingamajigger. Maybe so, maybe no. Either way, these tend to have some good dosh in them. If you're in an area with two neighboring enemy factions, stuff like ammunition and war robots would be profitable to sell. You can make ore mines and gas collectors, refineries, and factories to make those items. Yeah, but couldn't you also hang around and steal all the stuff that ends up floating around from there? skirmishes, or even help wipe out one of the factions. Feels kind of Battle Brothers in that regard. Right, what do you have for me? Exceptional turret control system is good. Salvaging laser, oh but it purifies, I don't like those. And a fat stack of dosh. Always very welcome. And of course, we knew that there were asteroids here. We keep a note of that. And we move on. Passive duration is nice. I want to be able to automate more in this game. Oh, what was that? Some kind of turmoil. It's a shame, probably missed the opportunity to blow somebody up. Although, blowing up and being blown up seem to be two sides of the same coin in this area. Right, you've entered neutral zone. Player to player damage is disabled in this sector. Seems bizarre, but sure. Probably a good place to do some trading, actually. Uh, wait, that doesn't look like neutrality. Uh, were there any goods that blew up in all of that? Mm, man, neutrality is one hell of a drug. Right. Oh, jeez, they won't stop. They're actually taking... Oh, okay, so... Neutral though it may be... They're still killing each other. Good thing I'm neutral, but uh, where was that? I want that salvage. Uh, 
That thing's gonna blow up into some nice pieces, pieces that should be mine. Let's go, 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 go. Neutral zone. Don't mind me, I'm just coming in for what I rightly deserve. Titanium, a lot of scrap titanium, an improved trading subsystem. Hello, something nice and red and shiny there. An exotic plasma gun. Or maybe they should have used it to defend themselves. Goodness, I like neutrality. Nothing compares to our big family. Are these uh, pieces or are they... Oh yeah, yeah, something was destroyed here. Man, being a vulture is good. Very diet and you barely have to work. I just wish I had a much longer suck-up range. And it's already enhanced with a permanent fixture. Okay, any more neutrality around here? Would appear not. I hope I didn't need that. Maybe they were selling the energy cells that I need. What's that? No, oh, it's titanium. I thought it was tritium. Uh, trinium, rather. Richt, never mind that. Deliver rice, transfer vessel. Transfer vessel's practically free money. But who has energy cells? I need energy cells. Oh, you have energy cells, right. I want to get over to here. Super pie, dock with them. And hopefully they don't get blown up like all the other purple ones do. And while we're going towards that... Uh, sector two, three, two. Oh, a hazard zone. I wonder if that's good news for us or bad. This is great. It really makes the, the world feel alive, these kinds of things. Factions actually attacking each other. The map evolving. Consequences being a bit permanent. Mmm. Mmm-mm. Lessons can be learnt from this. They should pay you for removing the debris in space, really. I <laughs> should be demanding payment while I'm at it. Right, can I finally start Rules of Trade? Buy a hundred energy cell. Remember, young ones, listen to your grandfathers. They know best. Your best? Who's your often all about that best? Some people called this game ugly. I, I don't know to what standards they're holding this. So the AI likes to line this up and then tractor beam right. But tractor beam is slow. Boosting is fast. Kills your momentum as well, so you can blast forward and then go for the docking. Right, finally, I can trade some goods. I don't know what cargo license is, hopefully I don't need it. Energy cells, I was told to buy a hundred of you, and I'm buying them at about 50% more than the game told me to. And now, sell them for more than... Okay, even if I sell at a loss, we'll win this... Um, We'll win this thing. By the way, you got anything else for me? Deliver some rice. Not here to deliver rice. I'm a little tempted to hire some crew, given how I tend to chew through mine a bit. I think I'll just grab ten more random sods. And you know what? We've never been boarded, but part of me is thinking it might be a good idea just to. Oh, no, they won't sell that to me because we're not friendly enough. Fair enough. Let's 
somebody had a bulletin for delivering a ship. I think it was the shipyard, I had to guess. Or repair dock, rather. Transfer vessel, experienced pilot. It's really just going from A to B for 300,000 credits, so sure. Pay a deposit for the ship. 31,000, easy. And all I need to do is deliver it to here. And that'll also allow me to see where more things are, so really big win for me. We must be this Craspa, right? So we should go over here to see what that's about. Wait, what do you mean you need a captain? Just go there. Oh, maybe I wasn't on the Craspa. Craspa. Go. And then... Go. Go and go. Boarding is not till Trinium, fighting carriers. I feel like there's so much more I need to advance before we take another step towards the center. Especially seeing how weak my escorts are. My main ship seems okay. But I don't just want to clone that main ship again and again. That said, I could make a winner design and just scale it up or down. Hard to say. It's so hard to resist just taking those nicely made workshop ships. Because making your own takes a heck of a lot of time. And I want to be playing the game, not just making things in the game. The sector is under attack. Under attack, you say? Are you going to blow up anything I care about? Frigates and things. Oh man, oh man, do I have cargo space on this ship? I do. I do, I do, I do. But I don't think I would keep the cargo anyway, so we just need to keep going. Ah, uh, but, but pieces, pieces, uh, like those... Nope, too greedy. Let's go. There might be something worth our time over there in the scrap. There are absolutely no guns on this thing. I mean, look at the size of that wreck. It's just gotta be something worth my time. If I had this game, I'd definitely make some designs for the long play. The game only costs, like, $20. Which, to me, is fascinating, given how large and how much content there appears to be. Maybe it's a little early to make a call about the content, but... It seems like the procedural generation is up to scratch. I wonder if there's modded content for this. Now, this scrap isn't what I'm here for. This scrap's not going to, uh be useful and it's just taking up cargo space. I'm on the lookout for any modules, even though the game doesn't call them modules. I don't see any, but... Poppity poppity pop. Oh right, yeah, I meant to not be damaging the ship. Does it have crew? Ah, it's got one mechanic who can fix things that break along the way. Unfortunately, though, it seems like it's nothing but scrap for me out here. And if there's anything that isn't scrap, then I have missed it. Right. Crespa. Keep on Crespin. be anything in this pretty much empty place, but I don't have my detector to check anyway. And this is one bare bones ship. Ooh, right, that's an except, uh, exceptional subsystem we picked up. 
four arbitrary turret slots and three auto turrets. Again, not sure what use the auto thing is. I guess if you really wanted to laze your way out with your main ship, you would uh-oh. They're gaining on us, we gotta go. Oh my god, we're cooling? That's not what I want to hear. Paid a deposit on this, you know. Maybe that's what that thing at the top is, the time that you need to cool down for. Still eating up my power here, trying to replenish my battery. I need that battery for um, hyperspacing. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's okay. They're just doing some very long-range, not very effective attacks. Now they're doing some considerably more effective and not quite so long-range attacking. Oh, this is coming out of the budget. to hold out against this as long as I can. So I'm pretty sure I don't have the power to get through this. Uh-oh. No. No. Oh, this ship's going. Hold together now. Hold. Hold! Okay. Nice recovery as long as it's not yet more captains. Aye, right, thanks. I'll take a quick look at its condition. Please don't. Uh, uh, I'll check. You wouldn't happen to have a place for repairs around here, would you? There is a gate to another place, though. Uh, where's my mail? Welcome to our territory. Rules, everybody abides. Okay, the now organization. Right, well, uh, let's just face the music. Oh wait, maybe I can pay to repair the thing. Probably worth it just not just to not get the bollocking. So I will pay for the repairs out my own pocket. They're short on turbines. No damage. Here's your full deposit back. I did my best. Hooray! What do we get for that? Oh, 300,000 credits. Not too shabby. And the Fespi like us more, which is good, because we lost out a bit from doing some shooting earlier. And a nice trade vessel's making us some decent dosh on the side. Always welcome. Right, time to get back to Super Pie. Good news is the paint isn't scratched. The bad news is there's no paint left on this shit. Yeah, Jings, that was a bit rough. What are you meant to do in that situation, other than what I just did? Civilian trips, da da da. Hazard zone, trade and economy are massively impaired here. Maybe that's why I had to pay so much for that, um, for those energy cells. Yeah, 
Now then, Jinx, what do we do from here? Unless there's another job for us. Delivery, delivery, resource shortage, delivery. And the delivery jobs seem to be easy but very low yielding, or yeah, it doesn't seem worth my time. I wonder if it's worth making a quick jump just to try and get some tritum over around here. We are kind of close to the edge, but I reckon if we don't play it safe we're going to get shot to smithereens. Even so though, the knowledge of tritum would allow us to make some bigger, better ships. And it looks like you might be a quick wormhole over to that area. Maybe that's what I'll do. I will make my way back towards that wormhole and give it what's for. However, I would like to go to a shipyard and get myself a new, a new load of replenish kits for these guys. So that's what we'll do. Super Pie, let's play it safe, shall we? Go there and then there. Oh, casino might be some good jobs around here. to get stronger, a lot stronger. I suppose maybe equipping those nice fancy guns I got would be a good start. We're about to auto jump, but just in case. Delivery, energy cells. Oh, that's delivery, not demand. Now if it were demand, that'd be a different story altogether. That probably means I can buy the energy cells quite cheaply here. Probably. But, too bad, I want to clear the trading quest first. And I'd rather just automate my trading. See, I mean, Mordkalb's doing a fine job at it. Escort along with the main ship, yeah. I wonder if it abstracts all of the risk of combat and that. Like, if they get into a fight and you don't switch to them, is it abstracted or is it playing out in real time? That I wonder. Yay, who demands energy cells? Surely somebody does. Hey, would you look at that? Chemical plant does. So, grab Super Pie, dock there, and sell them the goods. Billy Roo has arrived and is awaiting good. Billy Roo made it without getting destroyed. Wanted. Well, why don't you just go and scout this whole area for me? Is there an easy way to tell what's scouted and not? I suppose this being uncovered shows what's scouted. I need you to take... Oh, wow, look at that. Scout the area, some enemy, rate the chance of low. Excellent. There must be a way to increase the amount that they can check out, though, right? Because otherwise it must take... What's he essentially doing? Two by two? So four squares? Four out of a hundred? So that's 25 scans for one square. 2,500 scans. Ah. Maybe the game doesn't expect you to scan the whole galaxy. Another hazard zone. Wow, that's a, that's a long way to go in your tractor beaming. Maybe the hint here is that you should buy more chemicals to take along with you because there might be a good rate for wherever you're sending them to, but I'm unsure. There's no reason for the whole galaxy to even exist, a tiny wedge from edge to center. Jinx Max, you're awfully scathing about this game. You have only put in 40 hours. Think about the people that have put in thousands. Uh, 
Right. So, energy cells. I can't even... Wait. Optional. Sell them more than 50... Well, that's not happening. I'll sell these at a loss. Mostly I just want to clear this, uh, this mission. You must be... I'm pretty sure I'm docked. Okay, there we go. Huzzah! We managed to make a loss. Successful trade! You've taken your first step towards becoming a trader. Seems like you didn't make much profit, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it sooner or later. Here's a trading subsystem. With this, unlimited wealth is just a few flights away. More hazard zones. Crikey. Didn't I already have this? Or better? It doesn't matter, I'm certainly taking it. Buy and sell goods directly to factories and mines, remember me, and this little gift when you're rich. Oh, I'll try. Uh, with that, I think we've cleared out a bunch of these missions, although there's still that pirate boss. That's not the pirate boss we encountered before, is there? Well, maybe. Not in any hurry to get blown up again, though. Fulfill the bounty hunter contract, make these sectors safe again. I wonder if he's going to kill me. That is quite close by, though. I should check and see if there's any good missions here first, though. Delivery, delivery, shortage, shortage. Wanted dead. Looking for a bounty hunter. Da -da 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 -da. Sure, why not? All about killing people. Your target is the great thing. We've had that here before. Artec. Well, whoever's around, we'll see what we can do about that. But there is a, a shipyard here, and I need to make sure that I get a replenishment thingamajiggers for my ship so they don't blow up on me again. What do I do for that? Tell you what, I'm really not sold by Laser Kiwi. There must be a better way of doing dedicated salvaging, but I don't think this is the way. So, where are you? Where are you, Laser Kiwi? Unfortunately, at this point, I think you are a liability. I didn't permanently put in any subsystems to you, or if I did, they got torn out when you were blown up before. So I think it's just a case of... Well, for one thing, transfer the crew back to... Super pie, and then just get rid of this ship. Crew and cargo, actually. Oh, slow down there, buddy. Slow down. Tonk. Oh, that's right. We've got this weird captain, don't we? I'll take the captain as well. I wonder if he gives any passive bonuses. Then and then and then and then I think we just select it all and get rid of it all. Can I edit a damn oh right, yes, we took a slight bit of bumping there, didn't we? We've given up on cross shaped engines? No not at all. What do you think you're looking at here? And on all three of my escort ships. Ship is overpopulated. Hmm, maybe I need to ditch some of this crew. Also, what's this one? Low morale, they might eventually strike. Ooh, we were lucky, we found ourselves a gun and defense. And yet more goodies, but now he's idling. Okay. First off, let's get rid of some of this crew. Or we could have a bigger place for the crew to be in. Actually, I wonder about that one. If we go to building mode, is there any... Framework to replace? There's a lot of framework in there. So, this ship could certainly be... Improved. Well, I say improved. Not sure to what degree I can improve this stuff. So, I would like iron crew quarters, and we're going to replace 
replace, 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 replace. That gives more, well, more space for this crew. But I should probably consider things like shields and uh, more power generation. So what if I grab myself this nanite that I've not been using? That would give half a gigawatt, replacing you with nanite. Titanium. Again, half a gigawatt, so I might as well use my much more plentiful titanium. There we go, I was feeling that my generated energy wasn't quite enough. Now, shield generation. Starting with nanite, you can build shield. They're a protective shield around the entire ship. They'll recharge automatically over time. Common misconception, shields protect from collision damage. They do not. Torpedoes and pulse cannons get through shields. Okay. So if I slam in this shield generator, the hyperspace jump goes up by more than I can store, so I need more storage as well. But if I just put that in... My shield is now 2,000 hit points. Hmm... Which I need to store more energy as well, so... Titanium energy storage thing. There we go, now I store quite a bit more energy, and yet I feel like I should store a bit more. Like enough to be able to do a few jumps in quick succession. I wonder if I'm hurting my ship's acceleration too much here. It's alright, you can just boost for that, right? There we go, that's a lot more storage. Let's see how we feel about this then. Yeah, slightly better, but I don't think I want to spend my precious nanite for that. Okay, so we got a shield. Sucks for our little escorts though, they're still quite throwaway. But that's exactly why we need to go and get reconstruction kits for them. I don't know how much of your ships you lose. Fighter factory. Is there a fight going on down there? No, no, they were probably just tractor beaming in. Shipyard, I need to go there. With Super Pie, of course. Come on, with all that power generation, you can surely blast your way over. Oh, actually, maybe it was close. No, I thought it was quite far away. You're not the shipyard, are you? You're the chemical factory. Greedy bastard got himself killed going after yellow blips in the galaxy map. There are pirates everywhere. Good point. Yellow blips. Talk to me, clever seal. There's one right there. So I'm going to check that out, and then we're going to do both of these killing missions, and then I'm a little tempted to explore more of this. We took a bit of a shortcut by jumping through this wormhole straight into this more advanced area. Maybe figuring out this gap would help. The engines are still iron. Perhaps the hint there is that maybe I'd have a better time using more advanced engines. I wonder about that. Achievement unlocked brawr. What in the world is that? Oh, equipping a, sh a ship with shields. Makes sense. Right, so if we view just our engines, which to be fair are kind of small and wimpy, so maybe we'll get a considerable boost by upgrading them to now night. Not really. In fact, it's just a significant... Hmm? I, I'm not really sure this is doing anything for me. It's certainly not increasing my acceleration. at all. Let's come out of this and see. 
we do that and go back in. It still says that. Okay, what if we make titanium engines? Well, titanium is better because it's lighter than iron, but again, it's not really affecting anything. So, too bad. We're sticking with iron engines. Plus, I like that red glow of the um, of the engines, and I really like the fact that you get a hundred percent of your resources and money back. So, experimentation isn't crippling. No games come to mind, but I'm sure I've had issues playing a game and you you don't know how things work so you experiment and whoops oh it cost you money even if you're paused even if there's no actual difference in state it's just no punished for experimentation still though yeah this ship does seem to lack on the engines department to the point where i think my escorts they're faster and have better acceleration Eh, Frostpunk, you get 75% of things back. And if you build something and then cancel it before it's actually built, then there's no cost. Oh yeah, some framework could be replaced with engines inside the ship. Why did I come over here? I think I wanted the repair dock. No. The shipbuilding, the trade goods. Maybe it's the repair dock I need to go to to get the repair packs, which I suppose would make quite a lot of sense. And I want to buy one of your crummy pre-builds, get away from me. Do we have a repair dock? We do. Okay. Let's try that then. Not the Tourette's factory. Nice that the ship gets adequate clearance before blasting off. While we're at that, Casino is lacking wine and they certainly will pay handsomely for it. They want ammunition. But really it's chump change compared to going over and blowing people up, right? That's what I want to believe. Well, there's the repair dock. That's where we want to go. Stop going away from it. Maybe I accidentally told you to fly to a weird location rather than go here. No, you have docking. You have docking order. You're just docking from as far away as you can. This is a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, you're not wrong, the acceleration on this thing is a bit pathetic. There we go, hopefully that's a clearer idea of what I want you to do. Nice ships, feels less Lego. Yeah, that's because I stole this one off of the workshop. And there's a great temptation to continue to do that, because otherwise a lot of this playthrough is going to be spent agonizing over making ships that actually aren't any good. What a shame. Yeah, I am concerned about that pathetic acceleration. To the point where, since we have a lot of generated energy, I might just look at those frameworks and get replacing them. I don't think engines scale with size so well, so you can just replace these individually and there's no big deal. That said though, they're not adding a whole lot to acceleration, are they? Well, beats, beats absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's right, this is the trick that shipbuilders don't want you to know about. Engines inside. It'll keep the place warm, but now I have no space to replace anything in here, so if I want further upgrades, that could be painful. Okay, 
Oh, that tractor beaming is certainly wimpy. Dock, let me in, let me in, let me in. Hey. Let's not nuzzle too hard now. So, reconstruction kits. I want one for Chumro. And... Can I not get one of the other ones? Ah, you can only have one per ship, but we have legendary ones that can be used on anything, I think. No need to tow, no need to repair. Alright, there wasn't much to that then. It was all just resource shortage and the killing stuff. Okay, let's go kill then. We're off to slaughter the Great Fire. Assuming that we can, and I certainly hope that we can. Uh, maybe in preparation for that I should use some of these better guns that I got. I'll also have a slot for more guns if the need arises, but... Just wish I had a better version of you. Acceleration and velocity is based on the base amount, so I'd rather not add percentages onto this. Don't really do the mining, and I don't need the cargo. Energy capacity up a lot, recharge rate up a lot. That could be handy, you're the one I'm jumping around with here. Permanent upgrade isn't that much more, but I think I'll put you in for now. That seems really handy. As for those guns, there's some crappy ones here. Precise plasma gun. More damage against shields. I don't know if I'm going to be facing shielded enemies here. I don't think I have so far. But even so, it looks like decent DPS. Why does it say no? Needs a gunner. Also, I put you on the bottom, which might not be the best. Oh no, that's... Yeah, I don't think I do want you on the bottom. I'd rather have something a bit more throwaway on the bottom here. The fine jewel gun, perhaps. And then one of these top ones. Oh, right, no, it's just that I got a fair few on the bottom. Oh, fair enough then. I'll replace one of you with that. And then you with. Oh, we have force gun, flawless jewel can. Yeah, sure. In you go. I don't know what those indicators were on the guns though. It was almost as if they weren't going to be working, but looks like they will. Zero out of five auto-targeting slots used. Then maybe I should make my uh, my big heavy DPS ones auto so they don't rely on me being terrible at shooting them. So we'll do that. I'll we'll change these to three. Why won't you go auto fire? There we go. And there we go. And three is active. And three is my manual, and two is my auto. So I want you to auto fire. Oh god, oh god. Let's not shoot these guys. I'm shooting. I'm going to be shooting. Um, Pirates, where are they? Could have turned off my auto fires with two. Good opportunity to test this, but where are the pirates? Or did they already come and die? If I had to guess, they already died. You're in Deep Wish 2. Do you need the hacking module? Well, I like to have it on me. 
Right, no sign of the pirates. In that case... Flubber Seal, was there anything of interest here? Like a no, so let's head on down. Well, already, it looks like that hyperspacing did not use anywhere near as much energy as it did when I was using it before, so maybe those extra power generators or that module helped. Again, clubber seal. Something of interest around here. I do like checking those, and I am greedy, so... Oh, oh, before I forget, we have an idol and something to be getting here. We've finished. Here's extra money. Thank you, Trade Calf. Oh, you're continuing to work. That's fine. However, what's not fine is... Protozomac being idle. So, Protozomac, we want you to... What do you do again? Do you do again? Do you mine? You probably go mining, right? Yeah, if you're down here, that's almost certainly what you're doing. probability. Am I sure you go mining? Good amount of now, right, though. Chance of an ambush is quite high. It doesn't contain many asteroid fields. So should I bring you to this supposedly safer area? Or should I just go to you and give you some better guns? I thought you already had guns, though. I'm actually going to switch to you and see what can be done with you. I also wonder if I need to discover places with lots of asteroids in order to make that more worthwhile. But I already scanned the area. Maybe I just need to do it more myself. Maybe we want to play X4 again. Why not play this instead? Right, let's see. I've forgotten you because I haven't touched you in a while. You have R mining, R mining, and R mining. Plus regular cannon. Okay, so maybe I should give you something considerably better than that. But you already got mining, and turret, and more turret. But they're not permanently put in. Makes me wonder why not. More arbitrary turrets are good arbitrary turrets. But I could probably give you a considerably better mining thing than that. I don't want to give you my amazing one, though. But maybe it helps. Maybe it helps. Material level plus one, range, and asteroids. What does asteroids plus something even mean? I don't know. Well, it's not like I'm going to use this otherwise, is it? Let's, let's give you that. Let's make sure that's installed permanently. And give you another bit of gunning. Not auto turret gunning, though. Maybe just more arbitrary turret slotting. And then we just jam you full of guns and hope that you do okay. Yeah, it could hurt. Oh, and you even have another slot for something else. Don't know what I'd give you, though. That's probably fine. Now, you've got a lot of arbitrary turret slots open. Again, I don't know what's good to give. I mean, is it good to also give you non-R mining lasers while we're here? 
I should almost certainly do is give you some half decent weaponry. Probably the last I played of Orion in 2017. I wasn't impressed. And then played the latest DLC for X4, so probably a bit of bias there somewhere. Well, was it an early access back then? I'm just going to give you these nice guns and see if that improves your chances of not being ambushed. Ah, but there's not enough crew members. Is that true? It is absolutely true. But I should be able to go and find you some crew members around here. And you have space for more crew members. Still two more slots. I should probably just give you more gun if that's the case. Just give you these regular crummy guns. No doubt for this kind of off-map stuff, there's just calculations. Calculating either your DPS or some overall value for the fightiness of your uh, vessel. But since I don't know what those are, it's pretty difficult to work with. In any case, while you're here, go find someone to give you some more crew. Solar power plant, do they tend to have crew? They said every station has crew, right? You can request a crew transportation here, complain a complete crew for your current ship, only possible if you need at least a hundred more crew members. Oh, well, that ain't happening, so let's just get towards there. Go, my giant USB drive. Deceleration is like. Mm, good enough, it seems. On dock, tractor beam me in. Okay, whew. So I need crew. How many crew do I need? Another five. And that should be us good, right? It should auto-assign that crew. Auto-assign that crew. And then surely you have everything you need to get the job done. But again, he still says there's not a lot of mining opportunity around here. Maybe I need to set him up here. It seems quite a bit safer. We're on good relations with Fespi, and there's a lot of Fespi. We're not so good with Gooksy. So perhaps I should switch to Super Pi. And then we get... Billy's done his job, hasn't he? I need to look into you as well. Protozomac. We're going to have you travel up to here. Gas collector, repair dock. Oh, would you look at that? There's no risk at all. Very little time, won't be attacked. I'm in command here. Good. Then get on it. As for you, Billy. Looks like you finished looking around. And you certainly shed a lot of light for us. So do you think you could scout some more around here? He does not. Ambush is quite high. I'd like to request a stronger ship. Again, maybe I should give you a stronger ship. I'm going to see how this does. So I'm going to do the same, uh, the same scout, but with better guns. I mean, Jinx, what I've given him stuff, nothing but crap here. Okay, right, let's see what we can do for you. Ship is very weak. Okay. Ship is very under crewed as well. Right, so I'm going to give you more arbitrary slots, and more gun, and hopefully more crew. Do we have any half decent gun? We don't have half decent gun, so I'll have to give you not very decent gun. But maybe this is a good way to use up your fairly crummy guns. Give it to the automated guys. 
They won't know any better. At least it's not complaining that it's very weak. But now if I told you to scout that same area... Still says 20. I'm assuming that's maybe because you still don't have any crew? You there, fighter factory. You have crew, right? Of course you do. Do you have the ability to slow down? Yes, you do, because I put dampeners in the front of your ship. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. You've got loads of power. Even if you got jumped, you could just run away, but my problem is you have to manually do that, as far as I can tell. Again, I haven't tried just leaving my guy when they get ambushed. Maybe they can take care of it themselves. But I'm a little hesitant to test that theory. Maybe somebody who knows the game could tell me. Right, give me that crew. I only need barely anybody, really. Now... No, it's still at 20. Huh. And here I thought you'd be better off because I gave you more guns, but then again, I did give you just more crappy guns. Just bothers me that it didn't change at all. Even so, I want you to pull your trousers up and just get on with it. I'll go back to Super Pie. Now I wanted to go over here, check out this anomaly, and then get killing. And my ships might, my escorts might die in the process. So I really need to figure out how to make better escorts. Honestly, just being escorted by this ship I'm using now, more of those, that'd be pretty cool. But this one's already pretty decked out with um, uh, modules. Hope I don't die along the way. We'll see, Chumro. We shall see. Wait, didn't I bring some people back to life without uh, renaming them? Oh well. If I've forgotten, we'll forgive. It's taken a while to load. So, probably lots of asteroids. Loads of asteroids. Not only that, but some kind of valuable object in the distance there. Yeah, it's the same bleeding, uh... No, no, that's different. 295, infinite value. Not only that, but... Oh, no, that's that's nothing special. Anything else of value, object detector? You just think of that beacon. Well, I'm not interested in your beacon. It is quite notable that there are asteroids here. But I'm not seeing any now, I... Lots of titanium, though. Crew of Super Pie got paid. How much? 30,000 credits. Yeah, these crew costs, they're getting out of hand. Well, if nothing else, I can make note that there are asteroids here. I was told to make note of what kind of asteroids, but surely that's not significant until you get much closer in. Super Pie, we're on our way to kill. Although, what was that mission thing? I, I know, I know, I keep getting distracted one way or the other. Also, Protozovac already... Oh, James. Lots of advantage here. And I'm pretty sure in the grand scheme of things, this is not a lot to manage. Right, you are here to be mining, so mine this area. Hey, look, that gets uh, three of the asteroid belts that we know of. Additional bonus from mining subsystem. Mining subsystem help most used in areas with few resources. But you're not finding any of the material that you're actually here to get. Why? Uh, 
Maybe just because we don't know of it. So maybe we have to find some of it. The reason you were able to get uh, the other stuff was because you were down there where we knew there was some. Okay, interesting, interesting. Well then, do an hour of this and just get us some regular titanium. I clearly need to go and scout out and find more uh, not titanium then. I don't know what the guy was talking about making note of asteroid types based purely on distance to center. Well, maybe it's the fact that these three don't have now it in them. I assume they don't because Protozomac isn't finding any there. Right, what was that mission? Exodus. 159295. 159295. 159295. So, there's something going on here. Assuming I got the numbers there right. Again, my short uh, term memory is terrible. 159295. Seems about right. Bye, let's get to work. Getting to work might include dying, so. Ugh. Don't be too attached to your ships. <laughs> that is cool. Probably be even cooler when I have 20 ships or so coming in like that. It'd be nice to have 20 half-decent, somewhat shielded ships to come in and start thrashing about in the enemy, but... I'm really thinking I would just like more of this ship following me. There are asteroids here, but maybe there's not now, right? because that's in the mining zone and apparently not part of it. Yeah, there are lots of asteroids here in no now, right? Maybe that's because now I. Right? Oh, we found now I. Right? here. So maybe it's not quite as cleanly cut off in the squares as I thought. Jump. So, this is where we're meant to be killing somebody. The Great Fire. Are you the Great Fire? We know you're kind. You're bounty hunters. We don't want you here. Nothing is free. You can do something. Get rid of those pirates. Return afterwards. We'll give you the information. Oh, well, paying me additionally is rather nice, but couldn't I just kill them? Oh, man. Seems like there's more to these missions than I thought. There's also a distress signal. Where are the pirates, then? Ah, jeez. They're all the way over there. Stop that. Let's just go to the distress signal and get fooled. Absolutely bamboozled again. Unless Clubber Seal has detected something in the area. You have, and we can go there, then there. Um, no, no we can't. There's still another jump after that. Even so... Oh. Okay, good. I did tell Super Pie to go there. Uh, Super Pie? Interesting. Got stage fright. So when you're carving out your own little M... Jeez. There's a lot to do in this game, okay? 
and I still don't feel like I have a solid grasp on everything. Scout made mostly out of iron. Well, at least bringing up to titanium might be good, but I don't know. I don't have a good feel for how decent the upgrades are. Although, yeah, maybe making them out of that might make them less susceptible to being destroyed. Right. So, nothing but asteroids? Nothing of value here. 2,000, well that's a fair amount of asteroids, so might as well plug that in. Even so, do you really sometimes just jump in and find nout but asteroids? Seems like a waste of an anomaly, but there are tons of them, so maybe I should give them the benefit of the doubt. Still, if it says no, uh, nothing of value, whoops. If it says nothing of value, then I'll believe it. Nothing of value and no large asteroids to mine either. So we shall... Jump. Take care of that distress signal. And then we'll go and see whatever this wanted thing is as well, just in case it's an up and down just to go back up a fair. giant ecumenical USB stick. Still, I'm uh, quite happy that the clubber seal is holding together. It never got destroyed and has actually proved quite useful. Unfortunately for the others, they're quite expendable. Alright, where's this distress signal, or did it did it go away? It might have been that I took too long and missed it. I will assume that I missed it then, because there is a fat lot of nothing in here. What am I even doing here? Um. You. I want to see if there's any anomalies. Frequently do, but there's absolutely nothing, so we need to go down to here. So, switch Super Pi, make sure everyone's still following. I don't think Clubber Seal is now. Must have done something weird with Clubber Seal. Escort me, we're on our way. Jeez, it's going to be a fair bit of jumping around. The scan is automatic, so I shouldn't have to keep mashing that button. Besides, I think the empty places are well and truly empty. Do the other ships not do anything on their own? Well, they escort me, and that's what they're ordered to do. And then if there are hostile forces, they'll break off and engage. Which is great when there's a big fight, because otherwise everything's concentrated on me and I would die. And I don't feel like dying today. Nothing found here. What's that over there? Wait, what, Chumro? Something seemed weird back there. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Uh, clubber seal. What do we have around here? Quite a lot. I'll check these two on the way towards that.
Moving player to sector something to craft super pie. Craft super pie. What? Oh, maybe it means as in super pie, the craft, not crafting a super pie. Taking a fair while to load, which usually means lots of asteroids. Usually. I wonder what, when you uncover tons of the uh, the world, or the universe, the galaxy, and there's a lot going on, I wonder if the game's performance struggles greatly. Hello! Hostile. Very far away. But there's only three of them. Two bandits and a pirate. How tough could they be? Also, there's something valuable around here, apparently. Captain Von Dougal's already level two. Right, what have we here? A... I wonder if they're just going to let me have this, but there is a... Asteroid for me to claim. And I want to claim that. Oh man, that freaking line. Your mother was a hamster. Father smelt of elderberries. Uh. Oh, okay. Thank you, auto guns. Working so I don't have to. Ah, low Omicron. They were never going to hack it. There we go, and Clan of Fespi is liking me more for doing this. No, no, no running for you. Down you go. And I'll be having your goods. Thank you, escorts. Your assistance invaluable. So invaluable that I'm gonna... Okay, I thought we were on a headbutt collision there. <laughs> Look at this, I thought only intelligent species were allowed to fly ships. So are the other guys still throwing banter at us, or have they just ran away by now? No, they are still bantering. Shield generator... Seems to be very slow at replenishing. And Clan of Fest, we would pay more, but I'd get good relations with the Guxi Alliance, so I want to know a bit more about them. I also want to claim my free money off of Trade Calf. One million credits! We took too long, someone else got a contract. Larger cargo bay, that could have been us. Oh, so you want a larger cargo bay, do you? Interesting. I'll have to look into that, but first I want to clear the uh, the dangers around here. Also, Billy is idle. Damn all these idlers. Uh, right. Lots of things to check out, and the game doesn't pause for you. So, these Gooksies. Would be nice to have better relations with them, I'm sure. So, despite the lower payoff, I'm going to sell to them. And yeah, let's kill these pirates. Well, I don't like the idea that Billy isn't doing any uh, discovery for me. So focus where Billy is. And why aren't you scouting? Oh, you already scouted here. Jinx. Billy's good at his job. Perhaps too good. In that case, I want you to travel somewhere like here. Swiftly as you can. And then, I wish I could queue up an action for you after that, but once you're here, go and explore more, please. And how about you, Trade Calf? Is there yet more trade for you to do? Energy cells have good margins, but they have low value, don't they?
No enemies, as far as I can tell. I don't like the situation here. There's a certain probability that we might be attacked. I have full autonomy and da 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 da. I'll be in touch. Well, I'm putting a lot down on you. I'd rather not put that much down on you. There must be some way to know the, the best ways to put these down. But hey, we can make a long one like you. Something like this. Oh heavens, that's dangerous. But hey, those mining robots will fetch a bundle. Using a ship this week seems risky. We'll be attacked. And also, that takes a lot of money. Right. Rather than that, then, how about we go upsy downsy through what I can only assume is a nice safe area? I do not have a feel for this trade mechanic at all, which seems odd. I play lots of trade games. Why you just make the half decent dosh on this is chump change. Real chump change. Maybe we should have you move closer to this trading place and then work from there. So could I have you travel to there? You know, that, that well-known neutral area. Did I just get there on the double? And I'm going to forget what I'm doing. Right, I'm going to be killing pirates. Come on. Hopefully they haven't left by now. Ah, no, there we are. I was actually hoping that they would come and attack this, and then I would get relations for destroying the pirates, but I probably will anyway, since the pirates are in an area with those guys. Just a guess. <clears throat> but if these guys want to pick a verbal fight, then I will retort with Daka. Oh! You think you're tough? My man and I will get you. What, you're 23 Omicron men? I have my doubts, friend. I have my doubts. I said I also have my doubts of being able to aim. Thank goodness I have wonderful escorts and auto guns. Oh, he's bringing in some... Uh some assistance as best you can. Yeah, I think I've made this, uh, this ship a bit unwieldy now with all the stuff I've done to it. It's nice to laugh off attacks with these shields, though. I'm kind of tempted to give my escort shields so they can have a bit more lasting power as well. not done yet. Who's still there? <laughs> Too much damage. Get out. Oh, they got out all right. All right, don't we get too cocky about this. Uh, actually, it was a clan of Fespi who liked me for that, but I don't think they paid me for the privilege. A legendary triple point defense. Why is it always going to be point defense? That doesn't tend to be that useful for me. Yeah, Protozomac is not giving me, giving me what I need here. Right, 
Let's hoover up some of these items. Green is only uncommon, but I'll still take it. In fact, a bunch of these items have my name on them. Can't wait to find um, those chips that give me considerably longer reach for grabbing items. And let's make sure there are no more valuables around here. Nothing. Right, Billy Daru. You need to explore this area. I'm sure you can manage it. Dangerous, you say? Possible that we attacked? We'll cease communications for safety. Uh, anywhere better to explore? Oh, it's all risky. Let's risk all the way down. Well, no guts, no glory. Go and check it out. As for you, trade calf. You'd think there's good trade opportunities here, right with this trade zone, but... Well, at least it's low, low risk, but the returns are dreadful. I want some actual money out of you. Oh, uh, well, just keep delivering me the dosh and we'll be okay. Three to four flights. Da -da 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 -da. So I suppose the more often you can do the flight, the better, but take that, uh, take that hydrogen and make me some dosh. Is there anybody else that's not doing anything? Yeah, there's us. No, we need to get moving. Rifts in space-time, blocking access. So I think I need to go here, then here. Could probably make a note here that there are asteroids. Smugglers are better later in the game when you have millions to work with. Buy stolen stuff for 22 in low demand regions, spend 15 mil making them clean, sell for 70 mil in high demand regions. Well, to me, the real game in this is getting it automated. So finding a way to make the big dosh without having to raise a finger, and that's the real win right there. And then the finger raising you do is investing that into a horrible load of death fleets. Fleets plural. Get the job done. We're here to salvage this wreckage. I think not, meteor pirates. Then again, they're probably going to call in backup if I approach them. Well, this is what I have shields for. Lucky Tran saying hello with a Brazilian flag. Is there any worse way to say hello? Right, before I do engage you, it might be prudent to check and see if I've gotten any better subsystems by now. Or maybe even switch out my gun for that legendary one, but I think we can't switch out guns at this point. Yeah, why not? Legendary, they say. What makes it so legendary? It doesn't do much in the way of DPS. Okay, it does triple damage compared to the exotic one. Same fire rate, less range. Auto-targeting, extra damage, I don't really see how it's that much better. Maybe torpedoes can take a certain amount of hits before they explode, and that guy's just going to take them out three times as fast. Which would be nice. I'm from Brazil, I'm sorry to hear that. For some reason, this place attracts a fair few Brazilians, all making their desperate appeals to get out. Right, this could be risky, but hey, come on, we've slaughtered everyone we've come across. It's been ages since we've managed to destroy any of our escorts. 
at the very least at 10 kilometers we'll be able to tell they're Omicron and that'll tell us if we should leg it or not <laughs> leg it towards them perhaps Please, take your best shot at my shields. They need the workout. This feels good. Shooting them from above whilst the auto guns below also rip them apart. Mmm. Oh, but they're bringing in backup. Nah, come on. Their backup is surely every bit as wimpy as they are. I wonder if the hint here is that the salvage they were surrounding might actually be worth something. Which which one was the salvage that they were around? Is it that thing? Maybe I should do a quick check for valuables. Valuable object is detected. And it's this thing. It's a beacon. Right, well, just give me that information. And otherwise, we have some pirates to go and destroy. Come on, guns. At least give them a fighting chance. It's interesting, because these feel even weaker than the pirates we faced at the start. They have lower Omicrons than the first pirates we encountered, too. Maybe there are certain pirates that just don't scale no matter where you are? Oh, okay. Maybe they just want to send more. No, I did not build this ship myself. All the other ships of my fleet? Yeah, this one? No. This is a cool design I saw in the workshop, and even though I didn't want to take workshop designs, I couldn't resist. They're just so much better than what I build. Slow down, my escort. Save some fun for me. You know what they say, first kill belongs to daddy. I am slightly curious about these aliens. How much Omicron do they have? 89? I mean, that's doable by me. Also, that's some nice chips that just dropped there. An exotic combat turret control system. And an exotic turret control system. Alright, well maybe the aliens have something even more exotic. That looks like a big one. Oh, and it's just more pirates. So we have pirates and aliens? Don't know what to make of that. Well, what I'm making of it is that I'm glad I've got auto guns. There we go. Cleared out. Fespy like me for it. But Fespy don't pay me for it. I was hoping they would. Well, Jing's a good place for any other vultures to be coming in now. any swell pickups there. That stuff just looks like credits. Bonk for sure. Right, and there's also something over there. My, my desire to hoover up every last little bit hanging around. It's overwhelming. Okay, but it was just some petty gun. Right, fair enough. I don't think I want to go and check the this place out, although they might have a cool mission for me. What I want to do is find this wanted guy. 
and hopefully it doesn't just play out exactly the same way as the other wanted mission. The trouble with making content in a game, if it all plays out the same way, it can feel, in a way, more tedious. I hope our cargo will fetch a good price. Yeah, we're talking about a target here. Ah, this sounds very familiar. I mean, can't I just kill you? Maybe it says, hey, optional beat them up a little bit and see where they react. No, perhaps not. Well, that's a damn shame. Fortunately, though, it's not too far away, and we will go and take care of that by hopefully clicking on the right buttons. Um... Shamro, why is it not saying that you're following me? Escort me. Hopefully nobody is idling. <laughs> it's unfortunate getting the now night. Now I regret moving you up north at all, Protozomat. We have no income of now night now. Although titanium is still swell to have. Scouting for seven minutes, mining for thirty minutes. Still trading and getting me that dough. As it should be. We have been watching X Pirates, and it just looks so long. Not to mention, old XCOM is a whole heap of jank if you didn't play it when it was out, and I did not. Xenonauts is there for me. Unfortunately, the Xenonauts overhaul mod. Uh, I forget its name, but having watched Baron play it, no way. Xenonauts Ballistics Only will be back up for a vote on the Longplay channel before long, but it's going to have to beat Dominions 5, and I have a randomizer for Dominions 5 that's really cool. Yeah, I think it was X Division. Painful stuff to watch. This took surprisingly long to load. Hello! Do I know you guys? These resources belong to us. Ah, uh, that's a lot of resources that I can't just let you have, so we're clearing this out. How many hours left in it? Well, that's the question, isn't it? I don't know how quickly you can rush the ending, because this might end up being a game where after a while I go, okay, we're going to finish up the long play, we're just going to end the run by doing whatever is needed, and then I play it for another 500 hours off stream. We've already called reinforcements. Oh, by all means, please do! The more salvage, the merrier. <laughs> that little move there reminded me of how angry some people would get because of ramming when I played War Thunder. Now I only played War Thunder back when there were only planes in that game. But I have a belief, and that belief is that it takes two to ram. If someone's coming towards you, you can negate the ram entirely by getting out of the way. If you don't, you consent to the ramming. And then you don't even die from it because you use your superior wings to cut their wings off. Mmm. Man, War Thunder's a heap of ass, but I still have good memories of playing it. This feels good. I mean, sure, I'm kind of stomping all over these poor, decrepit pirates, but it feels like payoff for investing in your system. Yeah, RimWorld's on the horizon as well. Lots of long games are on the horizon. It's almost a problem. Almost. Oh, you're going nowhere, my friend. Or is he? 
There we go. Sadly, these crummy pirates don't tend to drop the best stuff. Also, they are really doing away with my shields here. There we go. I knew they couldn't last. Top of that. Valuable object. Two of. Some kind of beacon. Goods of all Operation X's participants have been secured. They're safe and waiting for your soul. And something down here. What could you be? Doing this feels so much like going through the asteroid belt in Lilat Wars, Star Fox 64. Don't feel bad for the pirates. If they'd bother to invest in themselves properly, they wouldn't be getting stolen. Yeah, I, that's probably why they were mining out these asteroids. I think DayZ was the game where... Uh-oh, uh-oh, going a bit too fast here. That might have been a mistake. I'm not even sure we managed to open that thing. I think all the additions to this ship has made it considerably heavier, so it no longer stops on a dime. Oh yeah, that's some pathetic deceleration. Come to me. A legendary hyperspace interrupter, as well as 100,000 creds. What in the world is that hyperspace thingamajigger? It's just exotic, so it's not one of these. It must be a gun? No. Maybe it's a personal item? Hmm. Interrupt the hyperspace jump of Fidget. I don't know what Fidget is. At all. But maybe if there's something very important that I don't want to get away, I could use it. But, oh, it's a one-time use item, and I never use those. Hey, what is this? Why are these in my... Oh, right, right. Wait, but why does it show up here? I have legendary... Well, I have exotic systems, but I can't... Oh, no, no, there they are. I was imagining things. I thought they were guns. My bad. Mm. Power hungry, though. I need some factorial level nuclear power. Also nice to see that there are tons of asteroids to be had around here, but we have a job to do. So let's get on with that job. Any reason for the empty slot in the back of your ship? I like to have a wild card slot. Just in case something ugh, comes up that I really need to use that for. Ooh, hello there. Who might you be, Boss Swalks? Who are you? You might not have heard of me, I'm Boss Swalk, Scourge of the Outer Sectors. You'll get to know me soon enough. Who were your predecessors? I'm one of many brothers. Okay, well, good for you. Choose to pay the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, Christ, no! No! <laughs> okay, I couldn't undo my auto-jumping there. Oh man, I, I hope he's still there. He might also be destroying my clubber seal. Ooh, nice job unveiling all that. Alright, so I got stuff to do then, it seems. For one, Billy Daru needs to go on a bit more of a scouting expedition. Yeah, I know it's dangerous, get on it anyway. I've got ships to destroy. Ooh, 100 Omicron. Not quite going to be the cake what we had before, but probably still going to die. I worry about my escorts in times like this, though. Also, that's a lot of bullets flying. Be gone. Oh, I just watched this Omicron go down, so something got shot off. I like that. What 
I don't like is the tedium of hoovering up bits. Now there are modules that improve that, but you gotta find them. And I already have one installed, it barely makes a difference. Ah, oh, there we go. Kriegy knows that he's to take bullets for me and is happy to do so. Ooh, shield's down! Thankfully our hull is pretty beefy as well. Don't mind me, escorts. I'm just here grabbing the goodies. It's for all of our benefit, but mostly mine. Rare by sprayer. And, and, and... There we go, some rare goodies to be had over there as well. Yeah, there we go, shield's back online. Maybe I should let them charge up and then go back and kick that guy's ass. Hopefully he's still there. The shields fully generate between jumps? Probably not. Oh Christ, where was there even? Probably here, right? I would have jumped as far as I could away from there. With all those gun pickups, we could upgrade the escorts. It's not a given. Oh jeez, you don't actually have enough crew members for your turrets? Did you lose crew members along the way or something? Well, don't worry, I'll help you out. We need to burn time until the shields regenerate anyway. So our poor shit Kriegi didn't even have enough crew to fire all those guns I gave them. So we get to nuzzling distance, and then I transfer you over two more bits of crew? How many did you need? I think one more. Two more even, wow. Good thing I have all this crew. How are you feeling? A-OK? -okay? Do you want better guns? Do you need better guns? <laughs> Look at these standard crummy guns. I mean, I could give you some exceptional by spraying. Uh, rapid by spraying? Anything's probably better than these crappy starting guns. Hell, the DPS is being more than tripled, I think. So there we go, that should help you out a touch. How are you feeling, Clubber Seal? You've also got some pretty crappy guns on you. There's no time for standard chain gunning. I'll get you some plasma gunning instead. DPS per slot is a much better indicator than rarity. Uh, okay. What's the difference between DPS and DPS per slot then? valuables I'm missing, are there? The valuables indicator leaves a lot to be desired. It's this tiny little speck on the side of your screen. But if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of tiny little specks in this game. Even if I wanted to upgrade my escorts, we're not by a shipyard. Okay, surely that's enough to let us Engage. Ah, oh, he's gone. 
And I think that's the second time I've encountered him but jumped away without even wanting to. Ah, it sucks, man. Okay. Untag the sector. We're going back for that wanted guy. It's a bit of a slog doing this wanted mission. I don't think I'm ever going to take it again. I also need to figure out how to turn off my autopilot if I'm stuck in dialogue. Because that was a problem. Backspace didn't work when the dialogue box was open. Yeah, maybe we'll find Swox 4. I'm not sure I can go back the way I came, so we'll be back in the asteroid belt, right? Should have taken a different route so we could explore other places. Oh, hold that thought. There's a valuable object, but it's probably that beacon again, isn't it? That sure looks like a beacon to me. Surely that shouldn't continue to be tagged if you've already seen the thing. Another 100,000 off the trade calf. That's good and all, but I feel like 100,000 is chump change. Trade calf should be making me millions right now. If you have millions, you should be getting millions. So it's clearly something I don't quite understand about setting up good trade routes. Also, are we planning on moving anytime soon? Yes. Capture end. We'll tell you what you want to know. Find them and their associates in 348-133. Hope I don't remember ending to remember that. They're going to be tough to defeat. You're a professional. You don't know that. Also, they paid me for that. Not too shabby. Oh, and he was right here all along. I could have accidentally bumped into him if I had taken a different route back. Why does Kiri not show up as escorting me? He doesn't have the escort um, thing on. That's not Kiri. That's Kiri. I don't trust it, so I'm telling you to escort me rather than having to faff around with making you do it again. Mobile merchant here. Where's our happy merchant man? There you are. We're not allowed to do business with you. Oh, okay. But could you do other business with me? Dangerous goods, dangerous goods. Trouble inspecting. Don't have a permit. I don't know if these are good or bad prices. Maybe there's some kind of spreadsheet with standardized pricing on them. Do you want to buy any of my crap, though? I have one bit of aluminium. I'll happily sell that. I'll sell my five bits of plastic and my two bits of steel. You must be closer to trade. Well, that is not worth my time. Let's just go and kill this guy. Not for a few hundred credits. I'm not sure you'd want that, Lucky Tran. Imagine how much the game would chug if it had to simulate the whole damn galaxy doing constant actions. Uh, not quite. We found the wreckage. We're going to salvage them. I need info from the wreckage. Too bad. Uh, well, I don't mind going through you. Another scummy pirates to tear apart. At least these low-tier guys do tend to drop some decent loot every now and then. Assuming you're low tier, at uh, 23 Omicron, of course you are. Now the game tells you not to press S to slow down, because it makes no difference, but there's just instinct telling me press S to slow down. Too ingrained. You 
know what? Fancy this look. It's nice to actually see our escorts getting to work as well, and since my guns are on auto, I should be able to just leave my ship there, and kaboom. Ooh, might actually be an easier way to spot these floaty bits as well. Like you, I should have you. Is there a way to make note of it? Mm, probably yes and no. Uh, very hard for me to tell where the grid is. But Super Pi, if you could just fly there, are you going to get it? I know my stuff. Also an R miner. I haven't been doing any R mining for a while. Uh, what did this even get for me? Speaking of mining. So... What did I get for coming here? Oh, right, there was wreckage that I needed to investigate, wasn't there? So there's, there's nothing, but we know that's a lie, right? There you are. Super Pi, investigate that wreckage. Welcome, Alpha. Some parts are automated. Not fully, though. For some reason, you still need to go click on them to get their goods, but we're coming along. <laughs> R-rated mining for adults only. Well, the purified ones give you completed goods. R-mining gives you raw ore to smelt. There's an extra stage in smelting, but the payoff is better. There's a button on the mission to auto-collect goods. Really? auto pay. Maybe that's on the mission itself. Otherwise I don't see it. Okay. But is there any way to just make them keep doing the mining mission rather than enough years stop and starting? instead of having to tell them to keep going and doing it constantly. Uh-oh. Too fast. Much too fast. Okay. Thankfully we dodged that, but my dampeners are not up to par these days. Ship's too big and cumbersome with all that shield generation. Okay, overheated, stranded, scanner show more... My god, these, uh... I thought it would just go uh, go here, kill these tough guys, but it's anything but. There's a lot of jumping around for this. Tempted to abandon the other one. Right, well, let's somewhat beeline our way over there, and if we find something interesting along the way, we'll stop and smell the roses. I did look into some order looping things, but I think that's before 2.0. Looks like there's a big cutoff between mods for the game before and after 2.0. Different systems and all that. I like how much I've armed my friends, but I don't like how fragile they are. There's no shields on them. Maybe it would be worth giving them just nah, tiny shields to get blown apart easily. Hmm. High level captains get longer durations for tasks. Is that so? Don't I already have some high level captains running? I've got a level 3 one out there. Or does the level go even higher? Uh, there you are. Tier 3. But it shows EXP progress, so maybe the levels go up to 5 or 10. Just jumping around.
wonder if their salary is going up with their levels as well. Salvage duration plus four and a half hours in that guy. So it is. How, how have I not noticed that? Oh, right, because that's, uh, that's for salvage. He's not salvaging, he's trading, because he's a merchant. Why would I have him salvaging? Oh, I didn't notice there was a valuable object here, but I don't think there is. He's a merchant and a scavenger. Ah, I see. Automating salvaging seems weird. Why would you want to do that? Maybe it's a relatively low-risk way of getting resources. In that case, wouldn't you rather find somewhere to mine? I think asteroids are renewable in asteroid fields. Resource ones do keep coming back. Okay, rumors are true. They sent out bounty hunters. Feeling flattered? Capture? I'm not here to capture. I'm here to kill. And he said us. How many are we talking? Fair few of them. Right, let's see what you're made of. 854 Omicron. Uh-oh. That might be dangerous. Hopefully he's not immune. Oh, that is such horseradish. Right, so it seems like, again, it's the boss is invincible until you take out the little runts affair. Okay, well then. Hopefully we can keep a distance from him and chip off his... Uh... Oh, well, bye-bye, Kiri. Oh, this is a problem. Oh boy. Farewell to my shields. Chomro is down as well. Oh damn, I just put some good guns on these guys as well. I myself might not last too long against this. My shields are gone after all. They weren't the best of shields, but still. I don't like them being gone. Maybe I should be helping you there, Clubber Seal. I was hoping you would come with me instead of just standing around taking that punishment. Right, you gonna take damage now? See, that is so bizarre. Oh well. Remember, they're wanted dead and not alive. Ooh, well, I, should, I should grab that. Looks like a nice part. I'm ripping credits right off his shit. Right in the crew quarters as well. Away you go. There. Right, well, I got a lot of stuff out of that. But what was the payment, even? Right. Target eliminated. Here's... Wow, that's a pathetic amount for taking him down, and a pathetic amount of iron as well. Unfortunate. 
Very unfortunate. I lost two ships for that, and uh, dang, Clubber Seal took a hell of a beating. It's good to know that my giant USB stick design is holding well, though. Great victory. Nothing of value lost. Um, I need to get those goodies back off of my destroyed ships, but where, where around here are they? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I see you. Because I had some good modules and things in those ships. Not to mention the weapons. I don't know how much of those you lose. I'm guessing all of them. I wonder if you keep the crew as well. Exceptional purifying laser again. Not a big fan of the purifying ones. So, fighting, cool. Cleaning up afterwards, significantly less cool. I do wish that this stuff was a lot easier to gather up. And maybe it is with certain upgrades or certain ways of fighting, but we don't have that right now. You definitely get some of the guns back the moment it blew up. Not sure about everything. Probably not. But I'm not giving them the best of the best stuff. The game warns you not to invest everything in a single ship. Just trying to see the highlighter for valuables. I'm not seeing anything, so I guess we pick them all up. Ship destroyed. Have it towed at a repair dock. Why do that when I have a reconstruction kit? I know, I guess it's using up the items that we picked up there. Right, so these escorts are not cutting the mustard. I need to upgrade them some way. <clears throat> I'm not sure how, though. So... I don't think I'll do anything just yet. I need repaired, though. Is there a place with a repair station nearby? There is actually a shipyard and a repair dock. So not only could I repair them, I could, if I so wanted, get some better goods on them. Right, if that's the case, I'm gonna have a look at my fleet. Gotta make sure everyone has a job. Billy Daru doesn't, and Protozamak almost doesn't. So, Billy Daru, it's amazing how well you've managed to explore despite the dangers. But now I think we need you to travel along to somewhere like here to do a bit more exploring as fast as you can, Sunshine. And I don't know if you guys have follow orders. Probably not, since you just got ravaged. Oh yeah, is there anything valuable here? Being found here. Kind of surprised at how um, how little I got paid for that job. Where's my other ship? That's Chumro. There you are. Well, you're not these guys anymore. I need two significantly better escort names that aren't going to let me down like this. Uh, purifying mining laser? Why not? At least the titanium is flowing. I see scavenger is a secondary class. So what does your merchant status help you do? Probably get you the suspicious and dangerous license. Right, so protozamac. Your lack of ability to procure good um, asteroid stuff is letting me down big time. So I'm actually going to move you back to the more dangerous area. Wait, why did I select trade? With all due respect, he said. So, there's none of that cool stuff. We want you to travel to where there is cool stuff, and we know there is around here. So, scrapyard and asteroids, resource depot, just somewhere nice and safe, you know.
Can't go wrong with that, that looks very safe. Get yourself there on the double. And we shall... What was I doing here anyway? I wanted to go over here where there's a repair dock. Oh yeah, we've done a fair bit of exploring around here. Much more than our initial area. And I like it, I like that there's actual dangers there. Like I had a big ship and it was invincible. That's pretty hardcore. Except I hate that invincibility thing. Why? Uh, I'm an arbitrary uh, guy. That doesn't mean I like other things being arbitrary. Pleasure to meet you. We're convinced that you can achieve the most by working together. Welcome to our sector. Rules, blah 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 blah. I thought I already met the gooksy people. Maybe this is my first time setting foot in their territory with my own ship. I'm sure I've met them fighting against Fespi and picked apart their... Well, maybe I shouldn't mention that around them. Um... Right, well, I should certainly get these poor buggers repaired. Shipyard ain't the place for that. Where's the repair dock? There we go. Super buy, repair dock. Get docking. While we're looking at that, there's a demand for a lot of goods around here. There's a bulletin board just for resource shortages. And... Keep on giving me that money, trade calf. I only have to pay you 53,000 credits every three minutes, so really you're doing me a, a great solid in that, provided you never get attacked. They have complained in the past about not having enough cargo space, so I need to enlarge the trade calf. And I could probably just take the whole design and make it larger. Oh no, I'm not uh, I'm not being a pirate here, Alpha Gamma. I'm being a nice guy. And I should remake my reconstruction kits. It's pretty cheap and very convenient, so I see no good reason not to do that. I wonder if there's a mod for faster tractor beaming. Maybe it would just screw up the physics if you had that. Uh, what are we queuing up here? Ooh, lifter! Give me all your cargo! Pirate boss. Um, they say he's really strong. 331-126. 331... 126. Okay, that's probably the guy that we met before over here-ish. I wouldn't mind taking him on, but I should certainly improve my own ships before that. Something weird's going on here. Am I docked with you? No. But surely now I am. That said, I'm not even the one I want to, uh, want to be dealing with here, am I? Whoa, what was that about force generators? They'll pay quite a lot for it. And they probably still do want them. They want, they want steel. Well, I'm actually docked, so I can sell my steel and wires here. Uh, okay, I'm not docked. Probably because the dock is in use, if I had to guess. There we go. That gives a tiny boost. Right, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for repairs. Um, come to you, Chumro. Can I get repairs from here? 
nice and relatively cheap, so let's have that. And, 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 where's the other ships? Hang on. Oh, right, your nameplate is stripped off. In fact, that's not all that's stripped off. Poor guy. Right, there we go. That's more like it. But one thing I'm going to do is strip them of their names. They don't deserve them after losing. I'm also curious where the club seal is and if they're up to scratch in terms of hull. Yes and no. I think I'll still get them some repairs, though. Yeah, just in case we end up fighting against that pirate boss sooner rather than later. Right, after all that peach Amanda fish bullcrap, he ran off to the workshop for one ship. And probably a lot more ships down the line, and definitely the turrets. The time investment did not seem like a good trade to me. Right, even so, I wonder what I could do with these guys. They just get blown apart so quickly, and I'm assuming that's because their hull is only 1.7 thousand. Compare it to Super Pi, who has 28,000. And thinking about it, Clubber Seal might have even more. Uh, I think I just accidentally told Super Pi to run away somewhere. No, it's just that. Um, Clubber Seal, what are you doing? You're meant to escort me. Oh, I must have accidentally told Clubber Seal to go somewhere. Doesn't matter, I wanted to go over to you. And... Okay, you actually have less hull. Surprised you managed to take so much of a beating. But it's still ten times that of our little escorts. Fly your bricks with pride. <laughs> yeah, more hull is more better. But this guy still stood around and tanked a lot of shots in that previous att uh, attack. Oh yeah, how about the guns? Do you have missing... not you, but the other two. Do they have missing slots after that last encounter? No, looking good. You've got the good stuff even... no, wrong ship. Wrong ship. Still looking alright. Although you have fairly crummy basic weapons. I do need these guys to be significantly less dying-ish. I wonder if I could just make them bigger then. Surely if everything's scaled up it would be fine. They'd certainly have a lot more health, a lot more everything. And... Do I still have space inside them? Let's see, let's see. If I just look for their framework... Yeah, still plenty of framework inside that I could use to give them power and shields, for example. Might help them survive significantly, and just the sheer size should allow them to stand up better. So let's let's consider that. So we just modify the entire ship to be much larger. There's a big credits cost. Let's have a look at you with that. Well, the hull is certainly improved. Everything else seems to be okay. Don't know why it's complaining about everything else, though. Do we really need more crew for this? Oh, well, we now have a space for 105 crew. I suppose the larger you are, the more engineers and things you need, huh? Hmm, maybe this is a bit big of a change for it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Ship looks like a giant billboard. Hey now, this is our ship we're talking about. Show it some respect. Uh, right, I will need to take you off this autopilot lark and get you into here. 
for a spare dock going around. Because we need crew, hombre. Get a bunch more hull replacing some of the iron components with titanium too. I heard you the first time, Max. Right, we need we need a bit of crew for all of this. How much crew? Five and six. That's eleven. And I like to have spare crew in case I end up end up adding more gun or anything like that. And Chumro. Similar issue with you. You're just too small and weak and puny. Let's get you... Well, let's find a dock for you as well. Well, I should have just backed out the other one so I'd have space for it, but... Come on, free dock. Free dock. Uh, 